And the sounds are not playing, chat. I'm so sorry. This ruins the moment so hardcore. Give it a second. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. Uh, well, gruesome as it may seem, I think we should get both of these creatures and, well, I'm feeling a bit hungry. Yes. Of course. I like I can... this plan. I mean, we're pretty, we're mm. pretty close to the, uh, like the, where the doors were, right? Do you think maybe they just made their way down here, found them and picked them up and took them back or something? Mm. That's a possibility. I mean, we didn't do it quick enough. Maybe they went to do it themselves. Uh, they well, wouldn't have asked us to do it if I, if they would do it themselves, I believe. If we can't find them, that's, that's some gems we're going to miss out on. I mean, I, mm. well, it's not only that. You don't want to owe a dwarf a debt. Believe well, me, I never a... forget. Well, I'm talking about your family blood being debt, and that can take centuries. So we have to find them. Mm. Okay, let's go. Um, can you see my footsteps? We can still see your footsteps, yes. so you have to be careful. It's very oh, can you see there's anything nothing yet? over here. Wait, okay. there might be some... This. Up ahead, past a ridge, you think you can see some... Something big and furry moving around, oh sort of God. pacing back and forth. Stuck Why do we like need to distract them way. if they're stuck? This they're will go stuck. play with them. No, <laughs> not excuse me. So, so they could get out if they wanted to. Oh hell yes! I think that the the goblins are not very um. You know, this stuff is a little. It's not elven made, right? So, like, it's not quality. It's, so, what? Do you mean to throw them? Me? Are you are you closer to the bells? Yes, I'm I will stay here. No, you she wants to someone to go up ahead and idiot. get the bear. She wants someone to go throw the meat. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll throw the meat. I'll throw the meat. I'm the one that run. can be a bear. I'll go do okay, it. Okay, no, okay, I'll do, I got it. Give it to Nissa. Let Nissa throw the hell out of it. Point in the right direction. Everyone Let's get our asses across the room. Okay, she's in this direction. See. It's fine. She, she wants you to calm down. <laughs> somebody forward. Damn. What the hell happened to me? to look around. And you are finding a lot of evidence that an avalanche has taken place here. You find, actually, several goblin bodies buried in the snow. Uh, Get me in your arms. Uh, so this is what I was talking about. Yeah. I, I'm going, I'm... Fuck. Basically, just like throw Jeppy. Tears. Nissa is still falling. However, concentrate. Nissa, you you fall off of the bridge. However, spurting forth from the ridge, vines start to wrap all around your body and your arms. And ah. Ray, with strain, you grab Nissa as she's about to fall. And near these tents, you can see some chests that have become uncovered. But, uh, Moonbrook, you open up the chest. Inside, you can see the dull gray color of iron ingots. I like that idea with the bridge, too. That's pretty good. That's pretty smart. I thought, I mean, with that plus uh, maybe those, those roots again, we could reinforce it. And if we wanted to, and if it's icy, we could slide them way, way easier. Okay. But it's okay. also if they fall. But- I- I'm not used to this. I'm I'm used to making decisions and moving forward because I'm alone. So this is new. And I think it's hard when one of us has an idea and another one has an idea and we feel like we're right. Morning. I think we should rest first, as said. Perfect. Because obviously, I, obviously I agree everyone with that. Is- and then once we rested and in the right frame of mind, we come together with a plan. We don't get very much time alone, Cheppy, and I, um, I still feel very guilty about the whole hand thing. I mean, your new hand, that was cool. I have to give you that, you know. But, um, you know, I, I didn't mean to, you know, I was just trying to save you. I, I really want you to know that. Jebby knows that, Moonbrook, now, but... And Jebby appreciates it a lot. But maybe next time, talk to Jebby. She's very open to things. Jebby trusts you and she's never died yet. Jebby understands she... (laughs) Jebby's trying to bring warmth to these lands, and I hope to trust you guys can help Jebby do it. No, Nissa and Terriel. Let them talk it out. 
If you think that's the best, then let's do it. I may be new to this land, Nissa, but I am very well rehearsed into the idea of loss. Deeply so. And I don't ask for your trust. I ask for no one's trust. As long as my goddess trusts me, that's all that matters. Trust means nothing if you can't stand next to a comrade and pick them up when they fall. That is what, what my will. trusting you means. Everyone has their definitions, Nissa. You hold on to whatever you feel is right. And I'll keep doing what I think is right. What do you want from me right now? I am trying to accept I don't want you. Anything from I'm you. trying to trust you. I'm trying to get on the same step with you. You know, I feel We like want the same thing. Then if that's so, then why do you keep Why pressuring? are you continuing to not accept my trust in you? You call me antagonistic or or defensive, but you yourself will not accept that I am agreeing with you. I don't know what else to say. I, how how to put it even how how to put it blatantly. I'm I'm agreeing with you. So but, am I with you. <laughs> All right then. You Maybe I'm misreading your face or something. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because if we agree, then why do you shake your head? <sighs> because I'm tired of arguing. Fine. I'm going to go look over there in case anyone's coming. <laughs> I, I don't know how we're arguing about the fact that we agree, but I'm done. And I walk away. Can't wait to get out of this cursed place. Blizzard seems to be descending upon you. And whistling up all around. Cold wind, even colder than before, than the group was used to even colder than the conversation that they had, begins to kick up as a blizzard descends on the area. Ariel and Nyssa looking in opposite directions on either side of the camp. Wait. In sentry. What do you do? Uh, Terriel just looks down at the snow and he knows it's picking up, but uh, he's so lost from the conversation that he doesn't really feel the frost picking up around him. Um, he's kind of inside himself now because he feels like that's the only place that he is welcomed. And he remains there. This is just welcoming the cold at this point because she's so fired up. She just remembers her family, and Teriel it just reminds her so much of her one of her clan brothers, who was so brave but absolutely did not listen, and he died. And she's just so angry because she doesn't want him to die. She doesn't want anyone to die. She just doesn't want to lose anyone else. Both of oh, you just... mulling these things over while the cold winds and snows increase in intensity. A blanket of white all around. Difficult to see. Do you I both think stay on sentry? Uh, I think eventually... Nissa will remember that she needs to sleep and go back uh, and wake up the next people on watch. Uh, <clears throat> Terio bends over and draws uh, the symbol of Andrea outside the tent, uh, looks in at Chappie and uh, looks back. 
And then he goes in. He goes. He goes in the tent and uh, just uh, sits close to Chappie and like sit in front of her, um, and and just sits down to begin to meditate. He doesn't alert anybody else for a watch. Yeah, so do you stay outside your tent? Uh, I go inside once I wake up the next the next group. Um. I know I have to rest because I don't know what's coming tomorrow. And if I don't get rest, I won't be able to protect anyone. Okay. Just so we know, there were four tents that you had uncovered from the goblins. Cariel and Chepi. You're in one of those, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because she came in Terriel's, I guess you could say, quote unquote, tent. It's not really his tent, but um, yeah. Okay. And uh, who else is with whom? Is it Ray and Leoric? Yeah. I, yes. I think so. Yeah, I think I was with Moonbrook. Okay. Which tent were you in, Ray and Leoric? Um, I had, I think I had set up a tent. You had? Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, so I, I pulled out the, the new tent that I'd purchased and, uh, and then I had set that up. Um, and I have to, yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, I probably, I mean, as for placement, uh, God, I think, I think I would have probably tried to put it in between the two northern tents um recognizing that wind can be an issue and I could hopefully have that by the uh, ridge uh no no it's uh, actually let me can I I'm not able to you don't have control over the tent now you um, just uh, ping yeah it's not uh it's not pinging have the uh the arrow uh tool the, the select cursor selected and then left That's second hold Oh, right. I knew that. So, yeah, it would have been right there. Thing again, please? Sure. What about you, Learc? Uh, I think he'd be with, with Ray. In that tent. What about you, Moonbrook? And Nissa, which tent? Or did you set one up, or did you use one of the goblin ones? Used a goblin one. Okay. Which one? Um. Uh. Sorry. (laughs) You can just move your token to where the where where whichever tent you're in. That one. Okay. Okay. All right. So, everyone adjourns to their tents. The blizzard rages on and on. Everyone, please make a constitution saving throw. Nessa, you have advantage on this because you have resistance against the cold. Leoric, you don't have to make one. Chappy, Ray, Moonbrook, Ariel, <laughs> take one level of exhaustion. Whew. It is brutally cold in this blizzard. The goblin tents don't seem to offer too much protection from the cold. Um, they do a good enough job of trapping in some warmth, but in this horrific blizzard, it doesn't seem to do very well. Even with the rest that you all gain as a long rest, waiting out the blizzard, several hours passing, it's still that cold. You have a very difficult time maintaining your warmth throughout the course of the next several hours. But three, 
four hours pass. Do you continue waiting in your tents? Sheppy's going to wake up frigid. She is just shaking and shivering. Her bottom half, perfect. She's feeling phenomenal, but down. But she is just like snotsicles coming down from her nose, like eyelashes frozen. And she's just like... And starts like trying to shake Terriel. Terriel, it's freezing. It's cold. Freezing. And he puts his furs around her. Um, and uh, pulls her close. Yes, I, 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 I know. I, I don't know what, what to do. This, Jimmy this can't, can't find Frog. Can't find Frog. Oh, he's, he's here. Jimmy's found him. Okay. Jimmy's um, found him. I don't know. Why is it I, so cold? Um, we we're, we're apparently this ridge that we thought would block the wind is trapping the wind in, and it seems to be in a circular pattern, and causing. Lots of issues, and being in this armor right now is just not the case. I feel like it's sticking to me. I don't. I, I, I'm trying to remember spells. Um, can, we, can we get warm? And she's going yes. to outside the tent cast, uh, create bonfire. You find yourself having to concentrate very hard to keep this bonfire active. I would like you to make a concentration check by rolling a con save for me. Unfortunately, as you cast the bonfire, it goes out. Chebby can't make fire. Okay. It's so cold. All right. So Terriel just makes the decision without saying anything to stand up, stand Cheppy up, wraps her in his furs, and takes her outside and runs over to uh, Leoric and um, Ray's tent. He's opening. Hey, hi. Leoric is like half sticking out of the tent, like partially in the snow. It's good to see you're sleeping well. Very well, very well. Oh. Why is your shirt off? I didn't. I needed it to breathe a bit. I was having a bit. It was um, getting steamy in there. Give me that. Chubby's gonna just run over and grab the shirt and just start pulling it on. <laughs> uh, upon waking up to the cold, Ray's going to uh, cast produce flame immediately. Just be like, <gasps> yeah. <gasps> I'm glad I waked you. I think we would have died in our sleep if we would have kept going on or died in your meditation. Now, here's the deal. This is what we're going to do. At least I think this is what we're going to do. And you agree or not agree with me, let me know. But I think, Ray, have you gotten enough sleep? Ooh, have I gotten enough sleep? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to ask you to do something that you're probably not going to like at all. Okay. We're going to have to huddle together. Okay. I want you to be a bear. You want Is me that to possible? Uh, I'll I'll bust the tent if I do that. Um, I'm okay. too big. Uh, um. Well, not now. Absolutely not now. I want to kind of t- uh, take these goblin tents apart here and here. Um, I look. I think they occupied that one, and we're going to make lean twos surround ourselves, facing the wall. You turn into a bear. We huddle with you. We create some kind of wind catch. Maybe Chappy can try to, 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 to create bonfire. We have to huddle together. We have to be together to keep warm. We'll wake the others and have them come along. And we sit together, skin on skin. Okay. Not with you. And he looks at Leoric. Definitely not with you. Okay. All right, well, fine then. I didn't want to do it with you either. I understand. Um, Chappy's down for a cuddle puddle. You see that in the fey. Okay, um, I'll, I'll, uh... Okay, I can I can warm up my fingers at least with this, and I'll 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 start dismantling. And okay, I, I I'm on it. And then R- Ray runs out and uh, starts dismantling uh, the the empty tent first. Okay, Yo, okay, I will. We go wake up the others. We can't yes. move too far. You can run out in the snow. Jeffrey's too cold. Yes, Leor, can you wake the others and and possibly? I could help. I wonder where Thrak is. Is Thrak gonna survive this? 
Shatrak is fine. I mean, this is a, this is his this is his uh, area. This is his homeland. Maybe I should okay. find him though. There is. Track is back at the. Oh, okay. All right. I will wake them and I'll go get track. Well, I, I didn't suggest. But okay, I don't have to wake them. No. I don't have to go get them, but I don't think I don't want you to go alone to find Drak. Oh, all right. Uh, Thrak. I, I just wonder if he's okay, but I, I believe he had. He's by a, a ridge, so he should. Oh, I have an idea. Chepi slept with Thrak. He's very warm. He can survive. Thrak, 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 Thrak. Chepi's gonna go outside and start helping Ray. The orc is spinning like a top, pointing his finger. <laughs> yeah, Terrell's just looking at him like... Okay... I'm going to start... He walks over and he grabs... Uh, is there any sticks around or anything? Oh, uh... There's... Broken anything, broken... What's your What's your goal? What are you trying to find? Uh, he just wants to trace in the area where things should be so it can kind of create... Um... It just You're layout. trying to draw a, a layout on the snow? Yeah, uh, or like dig in a, a certain area, just a layout. There like, are, I know the snow is hard, but he's just trying to like, you know, there's rocks, stab at it. There's rocks okay. that have been used to uh, like weigh down the, the straps of the tents. Okay. Um, yeah, so he'll walk over to the tents that they're they're breaking apart um, and try to find the best way to get the lean-tos to work. If there's leftover, then he'll grab it. But other than that, he's just going to go help Chepi and Ray as fast as possible. Okay. Black, 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 black. I mean, black, 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 black. Get nothing, Lurik. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, I guess Ray, why don't you make a survival check with advantage since Terriel's helping you? Uh, but oh. you have exhaustion, right? Yeah, I do. So just <laughs> a regular one. Okay. Okay. Nine. Uh, you and Teriel are struggling to make this sort of impromptu lean-to work. Uh, Moonbrook and Nyssa are still in their tent, by the way, as Leoric is spinning like a top trying to speak to Thrak. Um, Thrak, Thrak, And, uh, I think it takes a second, Leoric, but, like, you realize, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, the message spell... Uh, it's only 120 feet. God damn it. I'm really getting, really getting worried about this. I can't find track anywhere. I don't know. Um, maybe I should, maybe we should, someone should go ahead with me and go get track. York, I need you to, I need, I need you to please don't wake the others. All right, I, uh, Leoric, did you wake okay, up? I will. Moonbrook want... yet? No, oh crap, that's what I was supposed to do. All right, yes. Did he forget already, Ray? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Part of the, uh, the tarp of the tent sort of like comes loose and Ray barely manages to snatch it. You guys are... <laughs> It's taking a really long time to set this up. Like you were hoping for a bit of an easier success, but like the wind is hitting the the ridge in a way that's just making it so difficult to actually fashion this uh, impromptu lean-to together. Uh, Leoric, you rush over to Nissa and Moonbrook's tent. Nissa, Moonbrook, hello. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, hello. What's wrong? Uh, it's uh, very cold. There's a storm happening, and I would think... Uh, uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, move all of the tents and uh, make a bigger tent towards the walls, I think. All right. And all I think right. um, Ray is going to be a bear and everyone's going to oh. snuggle. That's genius. Okay, okay. Moonbrook, let's go help them. All right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Also, right? Also, I have to go get Slack at some point. So uh, is anybody's up not here? He's back at the uh, when we left him before we uh, got to the where we saw the bears. He's back at oh. he's back there. So we have to oh dear. go across the uh, yeah. Even I think he's even farther than that now that I'm remembering. 
could he be out of the storm or do you think he's in the storm um, well he's probably in the storm but uh, i'm not super worried i just miss him a little <laughs> all right let's let's get everybody warm together all right first right okay all right I'm, I'm you gonna... left thrak outside of this this camp area it was f- way further than the bears right Perfect. Yeah, no, let's let's go help them. I'm yeah. Maybe moving will actually like warm me up some. Yeah, I I take one of my furs and and put it around Moonbrook because I can see she's freezing. Uh, let's go. Thank you, friend. You know you don't have to do this. It's okay. I don't need it. Uh, sorry, we need the tent. So um. Up, up, here we go. Come on, we need a tent. All right, all right. All, all right. right. Jesus. Okay, come on, here we go. All of you Thank begin you. to work on this project together, and it takes way longer than I think any of you are hoping. It's so hard to work in the blizzard. The snow is covering things. Your hands are slipping on straps and trying to tie them together, and they sort of become loose and almost become like sails in the wind, you know, willing, wanting to, to drag you away for a moment, and you all sort of have to... Uh, tie them together. Eventually you do it, but I think it takes way longer than you were hoping. Maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour or something for you to get it together. I need another constitution saving throw from everybody. And if you had the uh, fatigue from the first round, that's disadvantage. I think uh, before... Lyric doesn't have to do it, and Nissa, uh-huh. you have... Uh, you have still have advantage. Uh, I think before um, or while this is happening or while we were all building, Leoric is kind of pacing, not doing much work because um, he doesn't, um, not doing much work, thinking about Thrak and thinking about all this stuff. He does take out uh, a piece of cloth, probably as a bookmark in one of his notebooks, uh, and he tears a piece of it and he throws it into the air. Uh, or actually he goes and he places it on each of you uh, and then he walks away and as it's kind of balancing on you, whether it's on your arm or your shoulder or on your head or wherever, he then walks back over and he mutters something and then all of the uh, pieces of fabric uh, start to illuminate and then start to just cr- crinkle up and like uh, a purple ash start to disappear into the wind and you all are have been inspired and how have, and I'm gonna cast aid on everyone again. So you all have the, the, the buff of five hit points. And everyone except Nissa and Leoric take another level of exhaustion. Yikes. I'm gonna try to just tell everyone to huddle close together to Ray and and stay warm, and I just start trying to do as much of the job of building this lean-to as I can. I I guess if we have some of it set up and. Nissa says that, then I'm going to say, okay, stand back, just give me... Get. And before I do this, I'm going to cast, because I think this works, I'm going to uh, cast Produce Flame on my uh, hand and say, just just so you know, this little little bit of extra warmth for as long as it lasts, and then I'll, I'll uh, do Wild Shape into a bear. You see just, Ray I'm transform. <laughs> yeah. Every time I see him do that, it's amazing. <laughs> Warm. Cheppy is just going to like run and jump and like a little spider monkey just like latch on to Bear to Win and like just try to get warm. Uh, and also, one of my, my paw is on fire, so I am holding it out from you guys so you don't burn yourselves. <clears throat> Um, Terrio walks over and he kind of like bends down in front of Ray's face and he goes do you understand me or do you want to eat me <laughs> okay you both all right um <laughs> well <laughs> all right so he takes out ration and he like holds it in front of him yes <laughs> <laughs> he puts the ration down and then uh he says, put out the flame. I need you to be able to contain this shape as long as you can. You think you can do that? Okay. All right, everyone. Listen up. I know that things aren't the best. 
but I would like to make a suggestion if it's okay with you all. It's not so bad. Okay, so I was kidding. You, are, you okay, don't I, I know it's bad. I know it's bad for you all. I'm sorry. That was a joke. Go on. Uh, the Auric and Nissa, if you could please work on the lean tos and I don't know, call your god of some sort. I'm. I'm going to think on this. I know it may not be much, but whatever you could do, we may not make it through the night. We will make it if we stick together. And I just start like doing my best to do what he said, move as quickly as I can to make this lean to as effective as possible. Moonbrook, I need you to keep Jeffy as close to you as possible. I, we need to get the polar bears over here. Now I know it's not the best idea, but the more that we can get them over here and converse with Ray, the better. This storm is not, it doesn't seem like it's, does it seem natural? I'm too cold and too tired to cast anything to sense any danger, but I believe we're in danger. Could Leoric call to them? I don't know if that's going to work. Could the bears? Hmm? Of course I can. Do I want to know? They will eat me. It doesn't have to be now, but I, I, I fear if the storm keeps up, we may not last and we may need them. And, not, and they may need us. What about the bear? What don't we have right to it? I have all my rations here. Can we lead them over? I, I yeah, have many rations too. Jeffy right. doesn't know if this is a good idea. She's kind of scared of the starving bears. Jeffy doesn't think they would be very kind to us, even if we gave them all the goblins. It might be best for us to try. Chippy can try to keep making a fire if we're close to the wall. We have way. We have way. He can talk with the bears. See what, so see what is happening. See if they're hungry. See what is it. Then we can help them. Yeah, so the idea. Right they're here. definitely hungry. That's so the idea is offer is them to, food. Ray? Well, warm up Ray first. Warm us all up first, as much as we can. And then we need to make a decision together. Okay, well. Uh, Teriel just gets really close to Chappie and Ray, and he goes, Um, if the lean to is up enough, we need to get you guys so hold in together. Leoric, do you mind sitting watch? I have a feeling that you're enjoying this. I will do it. It's fine. Chappie's going to pull Moonbrook in really close. Um, I, I think as, uh, as Bear 2, and I, I would have gotten up and nuzzled you guys towards the, the wall as much as possible before plopping down next to you. Sweet. Chappie's enjoying herself in the cuddle cuddle. Yeah. It's significantly warmer here, uh, with the setup that you have. It took a while, and you did get this, uh, this... You know, cold basically permeating your souls practically, and um, the um, the the lean to seems to be working. It seems to be working. It's it's significantly better than the individual tents, and the warmth from Ray to in and everyone's sort of body heat together is all helping you. Um, Leoric, what are you doing? Um, I think Leoric is, um, pacing, um, maybe, uh, flipping through, um, a book that only he can see, uh, and maybe thinking about, uh, what he could request from Azuth, um, and, uh, maybe he tries but can't quite, uh, can't quite get, uh, can't quite pick out anything. Uh, the wind is whipping in his face. He's he's blowing uh, the he's blowing off of the, the the flakes that are landing on this invisible book as he closes it and puts it away in a, in his bag. He looks across uh, towards the cavern 
And there is, uh, it probably fogs out or he can't see past it. And it uh, looks um, uh, towards the walkway that goes into the fog and uh, paces more and then notices that there is um, some sort of um, uh, insignia to a different god. So he kicks that out of the way and then he puts uh, his finger into the ground and smiles at that and starts to think about Frack again. Frack! 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 Oh! And then, um, I think he then reaches into his bag and he pulls out, uh, the crystal and he holds that up to his, uh, to his, his mouth and then he points, uh, with his other hand, uh, in the, th- the direction of Thrak and then tries to see if he can somehow attune the crystal to pick up uh, or so that he can try to communicate or maybe amplify and hit, amplify his message spell. Okay. You start picking up the crystal and you start pointing. And the blizzard starts to fade from your thoughts as you do so. And black, 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 black. you start to point looking for Thrak, trying to find your friend. Black, 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 black. But when you concentrate on the crystal, you hear that same reverberating message throughout your head as the crystal begins to speak to you. And You hear. Not alloyed down. Not alloyed down. Emergency protocols enabled. Crew safe, but vessel imperiled. Still needed. Come at once. Come at once. Come at once. At once. Come at once. And when you shift your movement, you realize that the signal, or whatever this message is, increases when you change your direction. All right, um, uh, 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 he paces for a little bit and then he uh, makes his way into the, uh, the tent with everyone. Uh, uh, everyone, um, I was out, um, uh, pacing and, uh, is it, hello, everyone awake? What? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, um, I have the, uh, the, the crystal, I was just, uh, I was with the crystal, I was talking, trying to get the, you know how I spoke to the kobolds before? I tried to do that but with Thrak, I tried to see if I could get in contact with Thrak. So I spoke into the crystal, and I focused on to get the crystal to, uh, to, uh, to uh, 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 and then use it to reverberate within the arcane, um, but it didn't, it just, uh, it spoke inside my mind, that message that we heard before. But as I was pointing, I realized it seemed to get louder and, and quieter depending on where I was pointing. I think there is a way we could track down and 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 uh, see what uh, who left this message. Also, it said come at once. Um, so I'm not sure if um, there are people we could help or what is going on or what the vessel is or what the nautiloid is. Uh, but uh, we have it. And if that is something if we were worried uh, uh, to do also, I didn't recognize uh, there being an issue anymore about the blizzard. And he's going to uh, pull back the the uh, the door to the tent. Is there still a blizzard happening out front? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Well, I was wrong. Um, okay, so the. Uh, we'll see the blizzard. Okay. Well. 
interesting because I could have sworn that maybe it was the eye of the blizzard. Is that the, uh, the blizzard have eyes? Uh, Leoric. Oh, yes. Can I hold the crystal, please? And uh, Terio looks at Moonbrook and looks at Nissa and looks at Chappie and uh, Ray. Are you sure that's uh, a good idea? I just want to hold it for one second. But what Why if? Let him I mean, cry. It, 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 it spoke to me, so I mean, it's it was talking to me. Um, yes. I don't know if. Just, just let him try. It will only be for a minute. He'll give it right back. One minute can't change anything, but we could learn something. I've already learned it. It's fine. You can hold on to it. Okay, great. Wonderful. Perfect. And he looks around at the group again. <clears throat> well, how important do you think this message is, Leora? Well, um, it's, it seemed urgent. Um, and I don't know what it don't, not how it is. Um, I do, um, you mentioned mind flares before, and it is scary. Uh, but also, uh -huh. um, it could be uh, quite interesting um, if we could figure out. I mean, I don't know it, but uh, about psionics or anything like that. I mean, it's uh, false magic. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think. And he looks around at the group and like uh, wide eyed and he's like, yes, I think we should just go right now. And then we should go to that message. Isn't that right, Leoric? I can. Let's do it. Right. No. Something's Nina. been really weird happening with you, Leoric, and it's ever since you got that weird little stone. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Chebby's not the only one who's noticed it can't be. Leoric no. was being rude the other day. Where's Azuz? You have, you have been strange. Okay, well... And I just came in here to say we should probably help some people, and um, we don't want to help people. Is that um, something? That we was, may, yeah, no, I don't want to help anyone. We we want to make sure you're okay first. Oh, I'm fine. I'm, what do you mean? I'm perfectly Chappie's fine. I'm the, the strongest I've ever here. been. Chevy's yes. the one who's supposed to be hearing voices. Leoric, not you. Something weird is happening with this stone, and it's not Frog talking to you. Frog has never spoken to me. It's a frog. Leoric, I want to bring up something really quickly. Place right. the stone in front of us on the ground, please. Okay, you said you didn't want it, but now you want it. I said place it on the ground. Okay, and uh, you're not going to touch it? No. No one's going to touch it, all right? It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting artifact due to the psionics, like I said, false magic. But uh, mm. here we are. And he puts it down, and he doesn't take his eyes off of it. Yes. Um, Leor, can you speaking to you? Oh, I'm so sorry. So, go, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Uh, all all Terra's going to say is, we're speaking to you up here. Up here. What? I, I, I know. I hear. Go on. Um, depending on how Ray, how close Ray is, Ray is, is watching the crystal very in, intently as well. With it's a glowing, uh, you know, it, basically until Leoric lets it go, it's emanating a pink, pinkish purple light while Leoric holds it. Uh, Teriel's going to do an action. Uh, he's going to cast Bless. Uh, yep. And who do you cast it on? Uh, himself, Ray, and Leoric. Then he's going to grab the furs from around Cheppy since she's nice and cozy. And he's going to scoop up the crystal and, and tie it up as fast as he can and look at Moonbrook and uh, just signal to her rope. Okay. Uh, you do this unless Leoric does anything to stop you. Uh... I think wait, wait. as uh yeah, I guess as you do it, my first I'm he's going to uh I think what he does is he as he sees it happening he goes ah! and then with his hands out, he then uh 
puts them palm up and geometric patterns uh, start to uh, uh, start to draw in front of his palms and then he opens up the curtain to the uh, the blizzard as uh, snow blows in and he's going to cast blindness and deafness. I I think Nissa's going to just try to hug him and hold his hands down when he tries to do this. I need initiative from both of you. Mm-hmm. Leoric and Nissa. This is to determine in your order in which you're doing this. Perfect. Leoric tries to cast a spell. Nissa <laughs> reaches yeah. out and grabs you. Leoric and Nissa athletics checks. Perfect. Like a like an absolute unit that she is, Nissa just <laughs> Crushes you in her arms, Leoric, not allowing you to move. I've got you. It's okay, going okay. to be all right. Let go, let go of me, let go of me. Okay. No, no. Please. I won't lose you. He holds hands up and their geometric patterns are starting to go again. I'm grabbing his hands. <laughs> um, actually, Moonbrook, could you knock him out, please? Me? Knock him yes. out? Hilt first, not pointy in. I need I to like do lean this. back. <laughs> I don't want neck. to do this, and she'll just do a jab. <laughs> I just like gently hear, ease him down. You can down. probably hear glass breaking as you punch Leoric in the chin. <laughs> oh, the glass shot. Sorry, Leoric. And it was like a light one too. It wasn't a. <laughs> so he what ties is it up. Stone. And he looks at everyone. He says, "Look, I mentioned a stone named Christina Bond a while back." The way that they cut this stone off from everyone is to bind it in a bag. I've read. Tied off, no contact whatsoever. It doesn't stop the psionics, but it does weaken it, and it... Physical touch seems to make sentient objects more stronger. Leoric lost his mind long time ago. He's favoring the illithids over us. They're playing his way to him. The message is urgent. I listen to it myself. This is dire. This is scary. He's probably made contact already. We are in danger beyond belief. More so from the storm than that, but if the signal got stronger, we don't know what Leork has told him already. I don't think we should get rid of this. Why not? I think... Well... We have a big chasm right there. We could throw it down it. Will they yeah. find him if we no longer hold the stone, do you think? We don't know what kind of psionic connection they've made, but the more he used the stone, seems like the more it wore at his mental state. I even blessed him, and he was worse. I mean... If you say it's as bad as you do, Chibi thinks Leoric's going to try to get it, and maybe he might hurt us, so what if we throw the actual stone down the cliff... And Chappie and friends can tell the orc it's in the bag and pretend. You'll know. And then he won't actually be able to get it. I Maybe think you'll know. being in the chasm will break the connection or loosen it the farther away it is. If Oh, oh hear me out. What if he tries to jump down the chasm after it? Which, if it's yes. like yes. this it Shardalan stuff, that's kind of how this crystal well, is, right? right? I believe he will, and I believe you're right. But the simple fact that Leoric is not of this plane, one. And number two, Leoric has a, a more of a connection with the stone than any of us because of his mental state and what he can do. And we don't even know what he, all he can do. I believe we need to take the stone to the Banahammer clan and have the clerics look at it. For a reason being, in the lore I've read and I've studied, they had contact with something as strong as this before. Right? It's a chance, yes. But what if it fall in the wrong hands? That's really smart. We could tell them that we found their gold. Maybe we could bury it here. And then when we go, we can tell them that it's here and ask for their help with Leoric. Lock it in one of those chests. Yes. Bury it under the ground. We can use it as like... A bargaining chip? Tell them where uh, it is. Say, 
Here's your gold. We can actually... Chubby can just bring some. We can give it back to them the iron and say, Here, we can't carry it. Our friend is hurt. But we know where it is and tell them. Maybe if we tell them that it's here, they'll help us in Leoric with the stone. Maybe. Maybe they can bring clerics and they can look over Leoric as well. I believe the damage is done. Honestly. If we leave it here, the stone, bury it, he'll still try to run off. We'll have to watch him every minute. He might have but, to take it in the bag, but not let him have it. Yes. So I think the same thing us. will happen if we bury it or if we take it with us. We just have to watch him every minute. Do you think we should this leave it here, Shariel? I believe we should take at least one case back with us to the Banahanama clan to show that there's full cases of it. Not, not a little bit of it. I know it's going to be a challenge to get it across, but I believe we have to do that to show them that we're not stealing their stuff. Dwarves are very pesky with it. And tell them that there's something more. We need the, the, their highest clerics. Dwarven magic is really great, and this is actually a really good idea because they are so resistant to magic. Oh. Yes. Jeffy and, uh, it work. He looks back yeah. at Ray. Ray, why is your breathing slowed or spin sped up? Are you okay? Mm. <sighs> we can't keep you here. We have to get. We have to do something with it. Hide it before he wakes up. What would happen if we maybe a chest? Or if we left it by the polar bears? Um, I'm not just planning to leave the polar bears there. I'm planning to free them. Mm, fair point. Chebby thinks we should use them to help haul us. We might be able to give them the rations in the morning and attach them to the big uh, sleigh. And then we could put the gold on it and we can sit on it. Yes. I, I believe that's a good course of action. Um, we're asking a lot of you, Ray, but I know you could do it. I have also um, probably want to get this done soon. I know we haven't rested much, and we have taken in a lot of pain from the storm, but I blessed Ray. We need to act quickly. Um, I we think Ray would have a better... Like this. Well, Is I'm not talking about us go out. Bad? What's that? Is the storm still bad? Oh yeah, it's a blizzard. I'm not talking, I'm not speaking of now, but as soon as it lets up even a little bit, Ray needs to go out and see if he can converse. And we need to have his back. Jenny's yeah? got lots of food. She bought rations. Yes, I am full on rations also. I can go with him. We can take the dead bodies. Case. I think we all should go with him. At least at a distance. Well, yeah, no, we can't do that until after the storm. Hmm, aye. <sighs> okay. Nissa, do you have a problem with, uh, cuddling over there with Leoric? No, it's fine. I just right. hold him to me and, like, put my arms kind of around him like this while I'm holding his hands steady. <laughs> Should we bind him? Jeffy was it just thinking that we could tie him to Nissa. Wise. <laughs> All right. Chubby got the rope. <laughs> Chubby's just going to get up and take her rope, take it from around her waist, and she's just going to, like, kind of put one piece in, because uh, <laughs> she's only got the one hand. She's going to put one piece in Nissa's mouth, and then she's just going to start walking around her in a circle, and then she's going to come back over and just hold the two pieces. Moonbrook, you tie a knot. Chubby's got one hand. Knots are great. Moonbrook ties it up. Okay, so I let go. I'm assuming he's got like one hand here tied and the other hand here tied and he's just stuck to my middle. Also, um, do we have any more leather bag? I would wrap his hands. That's a good idea. Uh, I have some. I'll remove the rations. I have the rations in a bag and we can use that. 
We can we can put it in mine. Here. Here you go. I picture Leoric right now like a child in one of those little harnesses in the Baby front Bjorn. <laughs> in front of <laughs> Nissa as she's sitting. Alright. That's good. Okay, huddle up everyone. And everyone. Thanks for listening. And uh, allowing me to um express some things. And he uh wisely done. He looks at Nissa kinda of strangely and goes Thanks. Damn, Chappy, we did good. <laughs> She'll give her free hand a high five. <laughs> Chappy's just gonna actually like nub, nub it. She's gonna like hit, <laughs> just actually bring then, the nubby hand over. <laughs> <laughs> She'll shake the nub. <laughs> all right. And from what I understand, you're all just trying to wait out the storm, yes? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cuddle up in a big pile of body heat and warmth. You all wait for two more hours. But eventually the storm dies down. You hear the winds calm a bit. And the normal sort of cold of Icewind Dale occurs. You've kept the warmth as best as you can. Ray has been helping. And these two hours have passed, but the blizzard seems to have died down. At this point, Ray turns back into Ray. It's just like so warm and comfortable little little sad just shrink back down to his normal size it's like oh, Chappy good. like sleeping on your belly <laughs> that is what I picture Chappy is just like it's like a big pile of drool there oh <laughs> why am I tied up I'm uh, sorry Leoric but we had to do this you'll be what? safe Okay, for what? Why? Um, Leoric, um, <clears throat> are you ready to go and, uh, look for the Elithids? If, if, if uh, of course, let's do it! Okay. Just, I'm not sure why I was still in the aquarium being all tied up here. Yeah? Mm. Just to keep you safe. We don't want you to slip and fall in the chasm. Is Leoric still baby Bjorn to you, Nissa? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Sweet. you're right, his face is right there. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm like looking down at him. <laughs> what am I doing here? Pick me up. Oh, it's I would nice think and, we would nice have faced him out. Like, it's away warm. It's me. hot. It's burning me. You're on fire. What is wrong with you, woman? Get me out of here. Come on. You're safer with me than. It hurts. I'm, I'm on fire. Mm. Ah. If you're I'm good, sweating. maybe we'll rub snow across your mouth. That would be right. Uh, I'm I, I'm gonna get some snow and start putting it down his like Ooh, back oh. of his shirt. I'm like it's oh. fine. This you know, what, just every time you need it, just let us know. Okay, this okay, fine. And this is just how it is now. What? Why? How am I ever going no. to help you? Just this is so embarrassing. Is... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So from uh, yeah, I mean, from what you were saying, uh, you want me to talk to the police? Oh, yes. <clears throat> yes. Must not, um, please. Yeah, so what's going to happen is um, our, our hot friend over here is going to bless you with the Azuth guidance. Um, well, how am I going to do it if Azuth sees me like this? You're gonna this is embarrassing. Your, they would... you're, going to rub, you're going to rub your face across because you weren't worried about Azuth last night. Um, and I'm going to bless you. And you should be able to be very good on speaking with bears. Uh, well, uh, if you'll give me just, uh, a little bit of time so I can just sort of mm-hmm. sit and commune for a little bit, I'll, uh, I'll be ready. And then All right, and in that time you could untie me. That would be quite as well. No, we'll just keep Not stuff yet. in snow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, more snow, please. Okay. 
I pick up some snow too, just to kind of. Chippy's gonna a baby. walk over to Leoric. Is he now facing out towards us, or is he still facing in towards? He's facing away. So like, like imagine, <laughs> imagine a baby, walls. but like facing out, so he can it's see the world <laughs> and interact. <laughs> okay, Chubby's gonna walk up to him. Leoric, do you love Chubby more than the stone? I love Chubby more than the stone? Yes. Chubby, what kind of question is that? You love Chubby? Yeah. Insight check. <laughs> Definitely. Sure. Leoric, you can roll either a uh, you can roll a deception check if you'd like. Uh, keep in mind uh, if you do have uh, well, never mind. Chappy already rolled yeah. with disadvantage. Um, uh, uh, what am I making it? Hey. Deception check. I'm assuming. And he's saying the truth. He's telling the truth. Okay, then no deception check. Um, you think he's telling the truth? Okay, but I should. He also thinks he's there. telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll something as well. Uh, but I'm gonna roll. What did you? What did you say to roll? Deception or what? Deception. It was just deception. Uh, I guess persuasion would be the alternative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He is. So in the phrasing he is. Yeah. He loves Cheppy. But he also. But he didn't say that he loves the loves Cheppy any less or any more than the rock. So she's able to tell, like, pick up on this, right? Yeah, Moonbrook doesn't catch the difference. <clears throat> Chippy's gonna lift her. <laughs> Chippy's gonna lift her hand up, and it's the nub, and she's going to cast Mage Hand, and she's gonna slap him in the <gasps> face, and okay. she's going to look him in the eyes. You love Chippy and the party more than the stone, and she's going to ah. cast Suggestion. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Leoric, wisdom saving throw, please. Well, I am very wise. Oh, damn it. 14. <laughs> <laughs> What's the DC, the spell DC? It should be on your spell page, Cheppy. Oh, it's 14. <laughs> oh, if, it's even, if it's even, it passes, or is it up to DM? I'm, no, e I it makes it, breaks it. It's the general rule of thumb with oh, D&D. Cool. Yeah. So... Uh, let's just see what it says for suggestion, because I'm not sure if you know that it didn't work. All right. <laughs> it doesn't say that I would know. Ultimately, you're not sure if it worked or not. But you slap Leoric, and you probably... Hear this echoed in your mind for a moment, Leoric, but you ah. are able to fight it off. Hello, what the hell is going on here? Uh, Terriel's wide eyed at this point, like, um. Ow! Chebby thinks we should trust him. I do as well! Maybe. Leoric thinks we should trust him! But maybe, maybe let's. Can... Wait a bit? Wait a I second. He leans I over to Moonbrook and nudges her. Am I tied up? Uh, and tells her a secret, and I'm going to say, I ask him who's the strongest and most wisest and most powerful one of the group. Hey, Leoric. Hey, uh, what? Hit me out. Are we going to a small snow, please? Yeah. N here. She'll take a big scoop of snow. All three and of just us dump, dump snow it. on him. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm literally stuffing snow in my boobs right now. She's Who very is comfortable. the most powerful, wisest, smartest, good-lookingest, powerfulest person in all the party? Wait, the girl kind of like posts up. I didn't <laughs> think she was going to go that far with me. That would obviously be me. He's okay, I'm lying. Out of here. Sorry, you got to stay strapped up. Okay, well, but who's going to heal you when you all die? We'll let you go well, it's gonna be a zoo. This is for your uh, safety. I will. Okay, well, then I will remember it. When it happens, it could happen now, and I will remember it sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leo, uh, look, I will let you go, but you totally, uh, like, kind of went, well, you went a little 
crazy when you tried to, you know, get the thing. The thing. The crystal. It's okay. Side crystal. You can call it what it is. It's a side crystal. Well, uh, you're nothing really strange about it. <laughs> well, of course. And it's something I don't right, know about. Ariel. Right Ariel now. stands up and uh, pats Boombrook on his shoulder. I'm going to go check on Ray. And he grabs the bag. He doesn't, like, at the moment, Leark doesn't know what's in it. Well, we hope he doesn't. Uh, he takes the bag and he walks outside to uh, Ray. You don't feel strange. What was that? What, 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 what was in the bag? There was Chippy's, Chippy's hand rations. It was Chippy's hand rations? <laughs> it was, yes, that's what it was. It was her hand for rations. And she'll look at the group like, can't get it together. Okay, now I now I have to make an insight check. <laughs> can I make a persuasion? You sure can. Saying mine? Uh, Perfect. Well, it would be deception, Chappie. Okay, let me do... What's your, well, what's your modifier for your deception? It's both are the same. Okay, so it would have been the 14 perfect. anyway. <laughs> um, perfect. Yeah, so... Uh, she's probably not lying, Leoric. I will, why, would, why do we keep our rations in the same bag as our hand? Because we consolidated to take everything to the bears. And we're going to feed the bears our hand? Well, I mean, we were yeah. keeping it handy, we're you know? Feed Chubby's hand. Okay, and I appreciate what you did there. Okay. Uh, well, the pun, you know. Oh, right, it was very good. Um, all right, so. That was um, the pun. Great. Well, speaking of giving hands, could you get me out of here? Not yet. Look. Leoric is I emoting the free. whole time, by the way. I want you to understand. Leoric is emoting and pouting and stuff. While he is in a baby Bjorn, and this is about a foot taller than him, so he looks almost like a teenager strapped to an adult. Hi. Look, I'll let you go. Okay. Just not yet. And <laughs> she'll duck out of the. T what? I hey, what are we? Come I'm back out. Go out there with everybody. Head. Yeah. Oh, yes, well, we're going to go, go outside. outside now. We're going to okay, go outside. Okay, I'd like that. You... Please. Yes. Bring the baby. Thank you. Okay. going to walk out. Yeah, I'm not a baby. <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. I swear to me. And you walk out of the tent. Ray, <sighs> have you transformed? You've transformed back into yourself. Terriel's beginning to walk up to you. <sighs> right. Mm -hmm. He like sits down and puts the bag in front of him on the ground uh, with his sword. It's kind of like tied to his sword right now and he just lays it down and puts his foot on it and uh, sits next to Ray and, and uh, just sits next to him, not in front of him. He didn't want to stand up above him because at this moment, a little meta game, I guess, to, to let people know that uh, Terio doesn't, Terio used to always look over Ray stand above Ray, but at this point in time, he's putting himself at the same level as Ray. And he's looking out at whatever Ray's viewing, I guess out to the sky or whatever. And he's just like, <clears throat> well, how do you feel? I'm going to be honest. Um, that, uh, that crystal is, um, could, uh, be good to sell. I think you. I think you. And I think maybe we understand each other a little bit. So I appreciate you uh, grabbing that. Yeah. Well, Ray, I know you're stronger than that. I appreciate the temptation that. that's in that bag right there. It's um. It's not good. <laughs> and well. um, I brought it over here so that you can learn how to contain it. Now, there's something about us elves that hold deep inside of us. We have a very close affinity to magic here. Okay. It's even stronger in our lands. The closer you are to your deity, you feel the sensation, but an elf to magic. Now that's, it's like the blood that flows through us. It's up to uh, you to take that sensation and turn it into 
prophet, a weapon, <laughs> or a word. sated, indulge in it, fuel yourself, and with that notion, you become a lot stronger. Now, I know I made a big deal about you being half-elf, but to me right now, you're more elf than I've been. So, I need you to concentrate on that crystal ray. Okay. And I need you to absorb its power. These are old, ancient tellings that have been passed down through House Vaishan. We would conjure demons and imps and have a battle of the mind with them. It starts with a flame. When you close your eyes, you concentrate on one area. Slowly everything dissipates. And just the flame is there. Not to scare you, the flame can kill you. From the inside out, mentally. Uh... The thought of it is not a battle of back and forth, it's more of containment. As much as you can contain the flame, the magic then grows. You move the flame more towards the crystal, the crystal will slowly start to give in. As much as we are tainted and filled with the anxiety that it brings, we tempt it with our power because you know sentient objects here, Ray. They love the game just as much as we do. And us elves, Ray, we are the best. So as he's talking, he's looking over at Ray and seeing if he's closing his eyes. I think I'm I, I'm trying to do this, and I'm I'm really trying to absorb this. Um, uh, Ray is like focusing on his words as much as possible, and he grabs he has a toothpick, but he throws it away. He grabs another one, even though that one was new. He puts it in his mouth. And goes, I'll try. And then he trying is not eyes. an effort, Ray. I need you to think. Clear okay. your mind. Mm. Only thing you hear is my voice for now. Soon I will dissipate as well. Imagine how it felt to be thrown in that water. Mm. How helpless you felt. How the waves consumed you. The cold took into your bones. Now flip it around and think if I had the power, what would I do with that power? Create a center. Think of breathing in, not through your nostrils, but through your mind, and lift yourself out of that water. Ray. Please make this will be a constitution saving throw. Now you have bless and disadvantage. Can roll the blast if you'd like. So to do that, what do I do? Um, blast is a D four. Mine's well. <laughs> Start to think back. Thinking back. Try to concentrate even further further back further back and you hear the sound of the ice crack again it cracks below your feet <laughs> no where are you going ray <laughs> Where are you going, Ray? <laughs> Help? Where are you going? Help? 
I can't breathe. I can't. You are now. It's too cold. It's too cold. It's too cold. Comes in different forms. The cold is only there for you to concentrate harder, Ray. I can't. Harder, Ray. I can't. Back. Think of the warmth of your mother, Ray. I can't snap out of it. I can't. I can't. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's okay, okay. And he, uh, you notice that Terry will move the bag away, but put it behind him, and um, he holds Ray, and he he kind of pulls him to the chest. It's okay. It's okay. This will take time, time. But you did wonderfully. You lasted a lot longer than a lot of people would. Not even. And 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 and. and. <laughs> he just holds his words about. He was gonna say you're not even full up, but he holds it, and he he holds him tight. Okay. We'll keep practicing this. Yeah. Okay. Not not right now. Okay. No. No. Not right now. <sighs> and he's he's disappointed in himself for putting Ray through something so hard, but he's like, I believe in you. Okay. okay. I believe in you. Here. Okay. Here. And uh, he kind of move. He looks at back at Moonbrook, and he's like, Sonanadel, come here, please. You see the others exiting the lean to. Heading on over. And that's a good place for us to take our break. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Holy sh- Wow. Mm-hmm. Good session so far, everybody. Uh, sorry for the late start, everyone. Um, but we're going to take our break now. Um, if you haven't done so, please make sure you're following all of these wonderful people. Head on over to tablestory.tv slash rhyme, R-I-M-E. To go do that, follow them in all the places, and we're gonna be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. Back in just a little bit. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. It's, it's okay. an order Hey, come here. What's going on? Uh, close. Uh, seeing seeing them come over, I think you know, like, uh, and maybe a little bit more okay with being vulnerable near near. Uh, Terry, I'm just sort of seeing him. I'm like, oh, it's oh. cold. He's helped me out. I, I miss being a bear. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, um, and uh, he kind of pulls back from Ray. I, um, I, I don't know how much, uh, tr- um, well, I thought it was a good idea to. Did we interrupt something? If you guys are having a thing, I mean, we could go back and. No. No, but no, 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 no. It's just, I, I was taking him through a, the trial of the mind, trial of fire. Is that what they're calling I know, it? look, I know it's a little advanced, but I believe he can handle it. There's something in Ray. I know you've noticed it too. He's... <sighs> trial of mind, what do you mean? Uh, Teriel snatches the bag up and uh, holds it close. Why is he... <clears throat> What is going on? We can't on? just keep him in the tent. This has to come out with us. Yeah, he's is secure, he still though. out of character? Is he still attached? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I thought Nessa was there. I don't know if she was. Well, yeah. well she he, is. when Teriel turned around, Teriel's more like concentrating on Ray. He thought that uh, Leoric was walking and, and Nessa was just really super close to him. Um, so he's just like. I just realized, oh, you're attached. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, so yeah, Ray. Uh, Ray's gonna need a little bit longer to get his mind together, and he will do fantastic with. Um, we talking ahead. magic. I love talking magic. I could no, help. Well, no, no, nothing. No, I unless you know how to be a bear, we we're good. Ray's gonna be a bear and talk to the other bears and get them to help us move some of this iron. Uh, I- Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, why don't we... Here's a... I know, we come up with plans all the time, but we take these goblins, throw them on the back of Ray, bear twin, and then Actually, have him bring them over there. I don't, I don't need to be... I don't need to be a bear. It's okay. Um, 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 I have an idea. Ariel sits back and, and looks at Ray and then looks at Ray and he's like kind of smirks and uh, 
backs behind and, like, and kind of grabs Ray's shoulder and pushes him forward a little bit, like just very gently, not shoves him awkwardly. He just kind of like pulls him forward and uh, sits back with the rest and listens. I, I have uh, an idea. Get me out of here. Let's start with that, and then we could play it by ear. Can we have snow in his mouth, please? Thanks. Yeah, yes. yeah. Here you go. I, I, I put him on his head. Um, I'm cold, but it's fine. <laughs> I I can I can do a couple different things. Um, I'm I'm pretty exhausted from last night. I think we are all are. Um, being a bear, I don't know if I can talk to polar bears as a bear. I have no idea, but I know that I can talk to animals as me. Um, but we had food, right? Yeah. We have some food to give them. We mm-hmm. have goblins. We can and just feed them the goblins. And that's uh, 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 out of character. Is will that be considered food for polar bears? I mean, technically, that would be food. You can make a survival check. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll do that with I'm disadvantage. I'm just gonna step away for a second. I just got something in my eye. I'm yeah, so no. sorry. Survival check. Disadvantage. Ten. If they're really hungry, yeah, they'll eat them. Okay, it's not their well, favorite food, but yeah. Right. Okay. So I think at this point, if if Ray knows that, he's gonna go. I mean, that's fine, but okay. Just can someone hack off two limbs and and give them to me, please? Also I here, I'm like really yeah. tired. He tosses him a little bag with rations in it. While oh, go ahead. Sorry. I take a hand axe and, and like hold Leoric with one hand, even though he's tied, but just to kind of have him out of the way and just like whack a couple go- goblin legs off. God. Uh, snow melted. Quick, could you um, go ahead and uh, let me out now? If you're going to swing that axe around, just. I, um, I'm done. You're fine. Here's some snow. Okay. Well, this is not like. It's comfortable. More comfortable, but I'm not going to. Get me out of here! Okay. What? <clears throat> it's a um, nice warm hug. I it's mean, warm and gross. But I'm trying to make it as cold as possible. Here's some more snow. Just let go. I gotta, Stop it. I gotta go across the uh, the. I gotta get closer to the bears. Um, before I can really do anything. Uh, but before I do just in case, and I'm going to sit down in front of the bridge and I'm going to cast, uh, as a ritual, speak with animals, uh, which shouldn't use my slot if I'm... Takes if 10 I minutes. That correctly. Okay, so if we have 10 minutes, which if the blizzard pass, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Do, are you guys, it's going to take a, a few minutes. Is that okay if I... We got right. time. Do you yeah, think? We'll keep snowing him. <laughs> okay. And uh, um, Terriel's getting ready to walk up. He looks back and he's like... Um, sorry. It's okay. Um, but we're gonna work on it. I mean, honestly, um, kind of look forward to that. I uh, haven't really dealt with, um, it's not, not really important, but I, I actually, I, I am looking forward to that. Um, and then Ray sits down, uh, and he starts drawing a circle around him, uh, and little runes, uh, druidic runes, and he starts going slowly uh, with his hand over each rune uh, with a chant. And as his hand passes over each rune, as it goes around in a circle, they all light up just a little bit, one at a time. Um, and he has to do that for 10 minutes. So that's what he's going to be doing. Begin to cast Speak with Animals. <sighs> At the conclusion of this, the runes on the ground around him are glowing, um, not brightly, but it's dark, so it is noticeable. And one last time, he puts his hand over the first rune that he drew, and the light snuffs out, and it's in his palm, and he puts it over his mouth. And he does this one at a time until all the runes have gone out. And then there's a small light in his mouth, just like that was on the ground, just for a moment before it fades. And then he stands up. He goes, okay. Okay. And then, uh, do am I wearing crampons on my feet? That's up to you. 
I, I think I I didn't hear you guys sort of switch out of your snowshoes, but you tell me. I I think that if uh, yeah no I I think I would have knowing that I had to go across the bridge I would have done that. Um. And I'm going to try and walk across the bridge. Okay. You walk across. As soon as I'm on the other side, I should be within range of the two polar bears. And I'll say, Hey, guys. Hey. What do you want? Uh, I want to talk to you guys for a little bit. I think, um... You guys don't look like you're in the best position, and I want to, I want to, I want to free you, just straight out. No matter what you say, I, I'm going to free you. But I could u- use your help F- for for food, for food, and we've got a lot of it. Make a either an animal handling or a persuasion check. I, before I do. I'm actually going to cast Animal Friendship. Ooh. And I will post that in the chat. Uh, and I'm going to be casting it at level two because it'll spread to both of them as long as it works. And this spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. If its intelligence is four or higher, the spell fails. Otherwise, the beasts must succeed on wisdom saving throw. And they as I do that, I throw... To make one. I will throw the food at them. Okay. Wisdom? Yes. Oh, that saves. That does not. So, you see one of the bears sort of paw at the fence and use it to sort of stand up to, you know, uh, a a larger height, looking more imposing. And it sort of eyes you. You think that this wall will stop me? No, I don't. It offers food. I I have I have more, and I grab uh, the rations that the uh, uh, that Terriel the Bagdy threw. I have I have so much more, and I mean we can, you guys. Uh, we're, I really want to help you. It's just I need your help too. Um, we need the to. The small ones do not feed us. This one offers food. Take food. And then I throw the food at, at them again. You throw the food. They start to sniff it. <laughs> it is small ones. They start to lick it. They're frozen solid. I I, I can um do, do you guys want that heated up? Because I can do that if you want. Like seeing it frozen and that them sort of pawing at it. Lakers like fish. We will eat. Okay. Okay, do you want more no. of that? Because we have so... No. They're, they're all food over there. Food. We need okay. food. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to have a lot of that. But do you... Are you, Can you guys help us? There's a cart over no. there. Yes. There's a cart and... um that we need to move something and uh, and you guys are just so big and strong and I mean we oh god we just I, I'm still ones gonna make let us you drag cars. I'm but not gonna make you food. you offer small ones small ones can be food <laughs> We will pull cars. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'll, 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 I'll go get some more food and, um, and I'll hold on. And then I go ahead. Uh, are these things big enough for me to move the, uh, the walls? Are what things? The, the little walls in front of the, uh, the polar bears. Are they big enough that I could inch them or like move them at all? If the polar bears can't move them. So that's a big no. <laughs> How do you okay. plan to? Right? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got some really big, strong friends, and we're going to get those walls moved, and, and, and you just, just, I'll be right back. Uh, and then I, um, I turn around to go across the bridge and just sort of wave at everybody, thumbs up, and go, okay. Okay. Um, Nissa, can you... We're going to need more of the pieces of these guys. Um, but they are, they're willing to help pull the cart. That's amazing. They're what? They're willing Wait to help us pull the cart. <laughs> are you telling me you walked over Good there job. on bear form and you spoke to two hungry, ginormous bears that probably stand about 15 feet tall if they wanted to? Well, yeah, but it's not impressive. I mean, they're just hungry, and, and that's all impressive. Is. Let's get him rations. Job. Let's get the ropes. And put on the clampons. We're all going to I could have go. done it. I also could have done that. You know what you could do? Add his head with some snow. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Uh, oh, crap, damn it. Uh, Should we uh, get one of these chests all, like, wrapped up? We could put some rope around it and... With the crampons, try to push it across in one person pull. Okay, all right. Um. All the plan music, perfect. Well, oh boy, Nissa, if you don't mind, you have a you have dead weight in front. Did you mind having any dead weight in the back too? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Nothing. Why not? All right, I'll. You will be dead weight. I'll uh. I'll hold the other end. Mm, and Chappy, you in the middle, guide it. Chappy will help. Ray, Did you say guidance? Front. If only I had my hands, I'd be able to. I think You're we'll fine. be fine without the Zeus one. She has, she has Frog, remember. All right. Frog, guide mm. us. And she, like, holds Frog up. <laughs> uh, okay, during this, uh, Teriel is going to mumble some words. And that symbol that he drew in the snow in front of the tent begins to glow and shoot up and sparkle and fall down on us and form a circular dome and bless this cast on Nissa, Teriel, and Cheppy. Thank you all. Cheppy feels guided, Frog. Thank you for the blessing. And for those that don't know, bless, boom. There you go. It also helps with saving throws. And I need to take another one from my spells. All right. Being this close to Chappie, I just sort of wave at Frog and be like, hey, buddy. So does that mean we have advantage on rolls? No. You, uh, by the way, (laughs) anybody that's crossing this bridge, as long as you're wearing crampons, you, uh, do not have to make a roll. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm so used to falling. I didn't know. <laughs> I was going to say, Moonbrook is just like ignoring everybody and just sitting in the snow, like putting on her crampons. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, we're just so not on either. Just the same. same okay, I'm just looking for I'm sure. I mean, this almost fell, so I'm trying to make sure I'm away. Well, I almost <laughs> fell. All right. Lisa was carrying Chappie. Yeah. She's carrying a six yeah. foot thingy. Oh, yeah. Man, baby. I didn't say anything baby. about Nissa not making a roll. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> sure. hey, Nisa, before we go in there and walk across this, could you do me a favor and reach into my bag and get the feather and give it to me? Oh. Put it oh. in his mouth. Okay. 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 Thank you. It would be good. <laughs> Ray's going to go back across to just sort of talk with the bears for a little bit. Um, uh, I probably would have picked up an arm or something or two arms again and just hanging out, waiting for them. If they're going to finish, just... Ready to throw it, waiting for the others. Do we hear that noise, by the way? Oh, yeah. Probably okay, as yeah. soon Terry as you get within nervous. like... As soon as you get within like 10, 15 feet, you can hear it. Yeah, he's hella nervous. Yeah, 
That's Chappy. She doesn't want to get eaten by a bear. Oh, those are... Uh, they are a lot bigger, and uh, mm, you said they were hungry, right? Oh, they're, they're fine. They're fine. So you guys from this neck of the dale, or what's up? Chappy, apart. to help kind of with some light, uh, is going Damn. to cast Bonfire next to us as well. Sorry, Ray. Atero kind of nervously waves at him. And, uh, we can use theater of the mind, by the way. I'm not using a map. Sure. Okay. Mm. All right, so... Um, are we taking, okay, ropes attached, Nissa, or uh, is everyone yes. ready to attach ropes and let's Jenny's do it? Ready. I'm going to hold and tangle an action to cast and tangle, and I'm just going to watch. All right, Chubby's right. going to go over I- with her rope, and she's going to start tying it around one of the chests. Okay. I just also want to say while they're doing this, I'm packing up tents and stuff. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Are you taking the goblin tents as well? Thank you. Yeah, we can sell those later. So. All right. Uh, Moonbrook, give me a perception check. Now, if you have uh, the fatigue, and I believe you do, uh, make I sure do. you're doing it with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, All righty. Pack up the stuff. Chappy right. ties the chest up. Yeah, and Terry will make sure it's tied to him. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Don't I just double sound. check Leoric's robes and, and uh, ropes and put some more snow in my bosom <laughs> so that he's cooled off. <laughs> Pillows. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Terry is testing. Okay, he like gets in position, bends his knees, and uh, starts to lift, and then he holds the rope over his shoulder as well to give more uh, height, uh, so that Cheppy is comfortable and she has it above and not hanging on her. You're not trying to lift it like that, are you? So Teriel's on one end with the rope. It's tied to the chest. Cheppy, what are you doing? So Cheppy's next to the actual chest itself because it's Nissa's also helping hold this, right? So there's yeah, a rope that's going over to Nissa, and she's mm-hmm. also helping. So essentially, Cheppy is just going to be holding it kind of still between the two, mm-hmm. and then when mm-hmm. they get actually up to the bridge, she's going to cast Mage Hand to continue holding on to it as they cross, just to kind of keep it steady so it's not like swinging all over see. the place. Okay. Lift with your neck. Shot. Bursts. Mm-hmm. Believe me, I know. Yes, you All do. Right. First Did no. you lift with your neck when the goblins were around too? I was oh. that was lifting with my brain. Oh, and you ended up dead. Okay, ready. What? what was that? Chappy's ready. Let's go. And I start walking slowly <laughs> forward. Okay. Uh, here's what I need. Terriel. Uh, athletics check. If you are fatigued, please keep that in mind. That is with disadvantage. Now, you have bless. Don't forget, mm-hmm. people. Uh, b- bless is only for saving throws or attacks and damage. Okay. Mm. Nissa. You are pulling. I need, yeah. uh, I need an athletics check from you. Except you have disadvantage since you have uh, a uh, Leoric baby Bjorn. So roll me one hello. more. Okay. Oh, and I have a feather. Now I need nice. a roll. Sheppy, uh, your mage hand doesn't really have too much oomph. Okay, you can't really lift anything more than 20 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's trying to lift the box. It's literally just on the uh, side, kind of trying to, like, if it starts swaying one way, it goes the other way and kind of pushes it back. Like, it's just kind of floating around, trying to keep it in place. So, as Teriel and Nyssa are pulling this, you're realizing it's just too heavy, and you're trying to pull it across the there's like a rock or something that gets in the way and you just can't even pull it over the rock you got to you got to dump something Chebby can um, take some of the iron out we don't need we, all of it what if we just dump Leoric 
Thank you. You can't be trusted. Where is it what? at this point? Huh? I am a person, thank you. How, how far across am I? Because I'm in the front. You guys page. haven't even crossed the bridge. It's just you're at the beginning of it, basically, trying to pull this across, and you got stuck on a rock. And Leoric doesn't have crampons You're doing great. Leoric doesn't have his feet on the ground. Wait a minute. Right. Kiki's I have an outside character question, and if I'm not allowed to answer this, this is fine. Go for is it. Featherfall only good for players, or is it good for objects as well? Uh, uh, I don't think you, look. Yeah, I don't think you know that, but you can ask Leoric. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chappy, I have a favor to ask. Can you run over there? A Jimmy. handful of snow, yes, and um, your <laughs> and furs or your furry butt, however you want to do it, and um, threaten to hold him tight if he tells you a lie. <laughs> I want to know if he can cast Featherfall on his chest, make it a lot lighter. Wait, you want Chubby to do what? I want you to kind of threaten him with your thickness, as you so say. Chebby will sit on him. Chebby's pretty heavy. She's That's not a small. <laughs> she's not a small. Uh, you know what? Senior. I like that idea because then Nissa could get rid of him and you could just sit on him on the bridge. That way he's getting coldness and you can sit on him face down. He can lick the bridge for coldness and you can be comfortable sitting on something <laughs> squishy. Sounds good to Chebby. Nissa, can you put him down? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm going to have to let go of the rope for just a minute, okay? So I, I put sure, the sure. rope down. So you step on him. I you step I on start, me. Don't let him I, go. He's fine. I start feet. untying him from myself, but I'm not un unwrapping his hands. Like his hands are tied to himself, so he's like this. I'm just untying him from myself, but not fully untying him. And then I put him down right in front of Chepi on the ground, like I lay him down. And then I kind of cover uh, him up with some snow. I'm like, all right, Chepi. He's all yours. What are you doing? He's just gonna like run over and kind of just like a like leg drop, just <laughs> slow ah, down. Oh. But first on top of Leoric. That wasn't fair. What is just, happening? Just keep your feather close, Leoric, okay? Quick. And then I pat My his head with some more snow and then I pick the thing back up. I hate you so much. Oh, much better. Chebby's just constantly like doing a little snow angel, like just kind of pulling snow in underneath her with like her hooves and her hands, trying to get him just covered in the snow. Okay, thank you. What are you doing on top of me? Chebby just needs to sit here for a second. Hey, Leoric, if you wouldn't mind, Chebby will let you stand up. But okay. first, we have to stay here and watch them. If they fall, Leoric, will you cast Featherfall? If they fall, I will cast Featherfall. It's why I have the feather. Can you cast it on the chest? Where could I cast it on the chest? Well, uh, I could uh, I could try and cast it on the chest, but it's uh, probably not. It really depends on if Azut wants to really uh, reach out, but I think that he only has a hard time reaching out to those who have sentience. If if they are uh, able to, uh, be things that are breathing or living, they would be able to uh, at least uh, alter the reality of them within the weave, but I don't think uh, it would work to it. I don't think what? he can do it. You might Let's have to just try again. Just Let's try again him. now. That ah, I'm sitting on him. And Jimmy if he moves, nowhere. do what you want. Uh, this ah, one, you should feel a lot stronger now, yes? Yes. Ah, ah, good. Do, do I just... Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to need new athletics checks. Uh, Teriel, you still have disadvantage. Nissa, you have uh, just a regular athletics check. Okay. It is still too heavy. You're getting the impression that you might have to take like half the ingots out. Okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. Um. Do they need my help? Moonbrook! Moonbrook! Could you take some um, of the ingots out of the chest? I, I possibly? Have yeah, absolutely. I have Thank an idea. You. We all are struggling really a lot over yes, there. We are, definitely. It's quite heavy, even um, for me. I wonder if we can put him. I see you breaking down the tents over there. So that top on top there, can we use it to uh, maybe slide it across? Or 
take some of the ingots out and put it in there and keep it safe. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't see why we can't slide it. Any, yeah, it, it might make it more slippery. That could be bad, that could be good, but, you know. Well, how was the terrain? And he's asking uh, Moonbrook to check. Well, the, I mean, it's icy and she'll rub her foot like, over it. Well, I it's guess most snowy. Of know if it's well, extremely bumpy or like, is there like height and death or is it straight across? It's, it's definitely very bumpy uh, and icy. Mm. Perhaps you hear that? With- crunchy. That means that it's like good sliding but there's lots of divots and stuff so mm-hmm. it can get stuck. Mm, yes, okay. So we need to take some out then. Okay, um, if you can still bring one of those tops over we're gonna just throw it in there maybe and uh, we'll carry it across and maybe we could drag that and it should be a lot lighter or even pick it up depending Yeah, you no, know, if you split it. the weight I don't yes. see why it would be a problem. So. I think you get Actually. the impression that like if you take half of the ingots out and just instead, of, you're going to have to double the trips. But mm-hmm. if you take half of them out of each of the chests and then fill them back up, then you can do it. It was just going to take some time, but you could do it. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Let's Ray's going to do um, animal, uh, speak to animals and ritual again, seeing, you know, that they're starting to pull stuff and do just so we can have conversations. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ray's chatting up the polar bears. You guys are going to be doing this for a while. I mean, you're basically emptying the chests, like half empty the chests, and then hauling them across. You can just do this. Uh, as long as you made the chests lighter, you can just kind of drag them across um, without too much trouble. It just takes time. Uh, and let's see. I'll get athletics checks from Teriel and Nissa to see how long. Okay. It would have um, been nice. We'll say that it takes maybe an hour or so uh, of just, like, piling. It's, like, slow, like, manual labor, like, thunk, thunk, and, like, pulling the ingots out, and each one is, like, you know, 15 pounds or something. Nisa, uh, 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 do me a favor. Mm-hmm. In my bag, there is a small twig. Uh, oh. it's, uh, it's got a, a joint in it, a little fork twig. Here, here you go. Okay, thank you. And uh, I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes casting uh, Locate Object. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you give him this twig, and Leoric uh, is basically trying to make a ritual. Leoric, uh, <laughs> let me just see what the requirements are for Locate Object. <laughs> It's vocal, <laughs> somatic, and material. So you have to make gestures with your hands. I don't uh-huh. think you can cast this. Damn it! <laughs> okay, he, does, he tries it anyway. Your finger is moving Wait, around. Isn't there a, a bag around his hand, by the way? Oh, I right. Yeah, there's a bit, like when he holds right, stuff, right. He, it's like a mitten. Like he's he's basically got a bag and he's I got, got I was a. Under Cheppy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Cheppy just like feels you moving your hands. Maybe, maybe. Lurex, stop that! Stop trying, trying to do stuff. You can't do magic right now. Jimmy's sitting on top uh, of you. Okay, well, could you put this thing, this twig back in the bag? You're trying to put. What do you want the twig for? Twig back in the bag. Well, I was going to try and use it to do magic, but to put it back in the bag, I would oh, need okay. a bigger. Jimmy can do that. Jimmy okay, just puts the twig back in. Sure. Okay. I go press back that. to moving ingots. <laughs> You guys uh, take the hour to move the ingots and whatnot across the bridge. It's slow going. It's manual labor. It's annoying. And you're all really tired. And Ray mm-hmm. has been chatting it up with these bears. Uh, basically, you've been finding out, Ray, that they've been with these goblins for uh, a few weeks now. Um, I think that's kind of w- like one of the things that you've been able to pull out of them. They're not exactly conversationalists. Um, they talk a lot about food and how much the goblins smell and, like, how they treated them, and not well is the answer. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm just uh, still throwing them little bits of food every so often and just uh, trying to be as sympathetic as you can be to a polar bear. It's like, oh, 
Oh, boy. Well, I bet they taste extra good then, and then throw them another one. They still taste horrible. Oh. Oh. Uh, hold on. Why and then I'm... I'm food? Yeah, I'm going to reach in and grab one of my own rations, be like, well, here, you know, or two of them, I guess, and go, well, you know, here's, have a break from that, and here, have this. You guys need to eat up. And then throw them two of my rations. They both sort of, like, lean up on the fence, and it's kind of like if you... It's like a big dog, you know, like a... Like a like a, a Newfoundland dog uh, trying to put its hands like on a person, you know, like or like on a normal object. But it's just so freaking massive that it's just dwarfing like everything. Like it can't jump over this fence, but it's, you know, it's just engulfing it. Cool. So. Here you go. Berries. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, oh, right. Do you have fish? Um, do I have fish? Or uh, better I, still? Uh, I, I don't, actually, I don't... Uh, do I still have the charred bird? Did we eat that, or do I still have that? Was that two of my rations? I can't remember. That I can't tell you. Does anyone remember? Do we eat those pieces? You, I, I threw the my rations. The peri, you didn't peri, throw yours. No, no. You guys threw all the Periton stuff. That's, that's right. what you're talking about. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All the Periton stuff is gone. Okay. Well, um, well, okay. Well, I can keep giving you some of this stuff, but I tell you what. As soon as we get close to town, I'll make sure to buy you guys something really, really nice, okay? I'm going to um, feed you guys. Don't worry. Um, potentially stupid question. What are our rations made out of? You can assume that it's probably fish jerky and berries and such. Like, it would be maybe like root... Actually, it wouldn't be even be berries. It'd probably be like root vegetables. I would think like some kind of potato. Tubers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we so make you, it across? Yeah, or? you guys have made it across. Okay. You guys have packed the, uh, the, the chests up. Now, there is the... Uh, the large cart that the goblins must have used for these bears, uh, that I assume is where you would be loading the, the ingots. Yep. Yes. Uh, um, Ray, uh, yeah. ask them, is it okay if they, uh, if we use this? The cart, yeah. Want to. Uh, did, is that cart, because I've been talking to him for a while. Is that, that, that big cart, that's one that you guys have been pulling, yeah? Or uh, his cart. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that one just loaded up, and then I'm gonna need help with the walls. And you're fine. Just, just uh, I need help moving them. From what you can tell, Ray, you'll probably have to like destroy them. Okay. Because the blizzard has like covered up the bases, and trying to move them might be impossible. Okay. It's gonna take a lot of force, a lot of it. <sighs> All right. Uh, Teriel walks up finally behind Nissa and he's like, oh, <laughs> that is a polar bear and not a dire bear? I, I don't know why Ooh. they're so big. What? Someone uh, has to help Chappy with Leoric. Can you hold him for a little longer while we take these walls down? Is, is Moonbrook over there? Is he with us? I think no, I was helping load the irons oh, and yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, and the tents. I put the tents on the cart as well because that they're heavy as crap. <laughs> right. Uh, do you mind going back and helping Chevy? No, Someone and then we got to go get Thrax. So we need Leoric to help Thrax. Uh, so that's a problem, yes. by the way. Well, the good thing is, is that I already hid the, uh, you know, in where we talked about. Um, but yeah. actually, I could use your your talents there, Sonaldel. I need you to. Hey, do you have a way to rig this lock? To make it lock Do back? I have a way to break a lock? No, Ooh. rig it to make it go back. To Moonbrook be would have had to open up these chests, by the way. Um, right. To to do this. Uh, let me get let me get a thieves' tools roll from you, Moonbrook. Disadvantage, right? Uh, yeah, you're you are fatigued. You kept your tools intact through all of the chests, and you had no issues. That was a 26 and a 25 that was Damn. with the disadvantage. It's freaking awesome. 
Uh, Terry's like, oh, um, well. I'm really good at this. Don't worry. <laughs> she really is. Yeah, I have to watch a lot of stuff. Okay, well, all right. Well, I think we're good. I think we can actually mm, watch him closely, but I, I believe we can, we can, yeah, we can use him. Uh, he mentioned doing a spell to look for something. So maybe we should take that stick away. To look Just for what? Thought. He didn't say what he was going to look for, oh, but. Oh, well, I can only imagine, right? Right. I, don't I, think I, I fell for it. It was my fault. I gave it to him. Oh, it's fine. He didn't. He's he's harmless, really. It's Leoric, and he's looking around. It's like he's not like it's it's you under the control of anything or or me or anything. It's Leoric. He's powerful. I just don't want him to hurt himself. <laughs> but let's let's try. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, he said you say build trust. So you have to trust in all hungry friend over there i mean i personally i i feel fine around this crystal um but i still don't want to take the chance so it's it's deep and it's under a good heft of that ingot half of it matter of fact so i think we'll be fine we'll just keep a close eye on him yeah sure all right so uh i guess we yell to Moonbrook and Cheppy to release him, and then we start working on the walls. Yeah. Okay. Um, I won't make you roll for this. You can basically take your time and sort of smash them with weapons and what have you to kind of break them down. And Ray has developed a sort of mm, relationship with the polar bears. Um, and you are able to sort of coerce them over to the cart. They sort of, you know, wander around a little bit at first. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, hi. Cart's here. These are friends. These are not to eat. You're going to get more food later. We've got the food here that's okay for you. But, uh, yeah, the cart, it's, it's, it's just follow me. Just this way. Getting them latched up to the cart doesn't take too long, and eventually you are ready to set out. However, I want to know what's happening with Leoric and Cheppy on the other side. So when they yelled out and Moonbrook come, uh, came over and they said to let him go, Cheppy's probably just going to wait until Moonbrook gets close and then she'll, like, stand up off of Leoric. Uh, uh, thank you. He has a stick he was playing with. I I don't. That was personal. Yeah, I don't need to know all that. Here, let me help. Oh, thank you. All right. Untie Stand back. Your... And he reaches in and he gets that forked twig again and he starts to wave it around and then he starts to. Uh, knock it on something that's invisible, or maybe th- waving it, and then at one point he start, it seems like he's knocking on something that you can't see, and then he pulls it up to his head like it's a tuning fork, and he Are starts to look around. Are you looking for Thrak? What? Yes, I'm looking... Are you looking... trying to find Thrak? Yes, I am. He's still missing. Yeah, we need to find Thrak. You should really think about Thrak right now. Thrak, 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 Thrak. Thrak, 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 Thrak. Why don't we get a... Hmm. I think this is a persuasion check from Cheppy. Leoric. Right. Can okay. she have advantage since I said, since I was helping her? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Disadvantage because of exhaustion? Also, I see Cheppy, like, literally just up by Leoric's ear, just, like, whispering, like, uh, what is it again I'm trying to do? Persuasion? Persuasion, yeah. <laughs> Leoric, make a wisdom saving throw. All right, and I'm not going to jinx it. Perfect. Are you trying to think of threat? Ooh, do I no. have less? <laughs> of course not. Okay. Thinking of the crystal. 
When you cast locate object. But he's doing this for 10 minutes. Because <laughs> I don't have it prepped. This is ah, the most no awkward me. thing ever. Jeppy is whispering in your ear. Stop it, what are you doing? I know it, I'll do it after. We literally can just walk up that way and start looking. It's not a big deal. I know that, but... Uh, you can add your bless, but I don't think we did it fast enough. Um, so I think, uh, actually, the bless is... I had is said bless when I rolled it, I, or well, it's after, not, I guess, I asked. It's not a saving asked. throw for you, so it's, oh. you, you, know, it's, you need guidance. That's what it is. Okay, sweet. All right, well, Cheppy's going to probably start walking over to the bridge, waiting for Moonbrook and Leoric. <laughs> Leoric. Uh, uh -huh. you, I mean, if you let Leoric do this for 10 minutes, um, Leoric, you uh -huh. can sense the direction of the object that's pointing towards a cart, a big one. Oh, all right. Um, hmm. Chebby would probably be hauling Leoric over towards, like, the cart and the bridge with Moonbrook while he was kind of casting this thing. Like, I see the two of them kind of pushing him while he's, like, running around with this stick. Mm -hmm. I believe he's going to, with the uh, with the stick still uh, just held up to his head, there's an arcane reverberation in his mind as he uh, is looking through and trying to find this, and finally he starts to, and you see these, um, these uh, purple wisps of arcane energy glossing over his eyes again as he then starts to make his way over towards the cart. Okay. <laughs> well, there they are. Yeah, here we are. Hey, Leoric, meet. Mm. Uh, what are their names, Ray? I, actually, I uh, didn't ask. I usually don't. Uh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> hey, buddies. Uh, do you guys have names, by the way? Did they call you anything specifically, just so we know, you know, when we're talking to you, or...? Uh, I am... Hurry the fuck up! <laughs> okay, that's a good name. Uh, well. it really doesn't matter. We need to go. Oh, okay. Um, we need to I go think get we threat. should put Leoric in front of the what? bears to what? lead the way. What? Um, because, Great idea. you know... He's not, he's not affected by the cold. We are, we need to bundle together, yes? Very, uh, very true. Perfect. Can they you let me. them know that I like gave them food yesterday to, so they don't need to like, you know, try to eat me today because I was kind to them yesterday. That doesn't matter, but uh, it's fine. I'm just, Tell it's fine, but we- to eat Thrak. We need, we need to um, eat Thrak. We do have extra, I have extra rations I can yeah, share. It's okay. They're, they're, they're bound to the cart. They're not going, I mean, there's, uh, you, you guys go ahead and pile in it. It'll be wait. It's fine. Let's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I don't need to be in, in the, the front. Seat, and he looks at uh, Nissa, Moonbrook, and Cheppy. And he's like, all right, one of you drive. I'll keep an eye on the chest to make sure it doesn't fall off or anything. I will drive. You won't stay warm. No. What about Thrak? Who's going to drive Thrak? We have to daddy. find Plactor. We have to find. You need to, that's daddy. why you need to be in the front so you can look for him. We'll get exactly. Thrak I could drive it. You, you can drive Thrak. We'll have somebody else drive the cart Ray, for now. Perhaps. Yeah, I've got I've got the cart. Okay. It's fine. Right. I can I can talk to him. It's fine. Perfect. I've got to read the map, so I'm busy. I can't do anything. Uh, Teriel just Teddy leans on down. the box, and uh, he he's he's in the back. I guess that's where most of the room is, uh, with furs wrapped around him, and he's just like. If anybody wants to come back here and stay warm, I'm not opposed to it. Chebby will come cuddle. And then she's going to run back and just jump up into the cart, sit next uh, to okay. it. Okay. I'll just walk next to it, like not be on it, but just walk next to it, kind of keeping an eye on things. Just to give you an idea of what this thing kind of looks like, let me see if I can find this handout here for you. I guess there is one, and it's pretty great. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, wow. That's so badass! That's amazing! Uh, I love it! Badass. Okay. It's like a fort! 
Are you guys? Oh, then I'm totally riding on top with my map. <laughs> <laughs> Nissa, do you want to get in? Uh, At this point, <laughs> I don't know if it'll hold me, and they might get angry, but I'll I'll just just stand very close to it. Oh, oh, I have something to add. I, I just realized we're gonna be pulling up into a go <laughs> pulling up with polar bears and a goblin wagon. That looks very menacing. Actually. To we'll the banner it... hammer. <laughs> no, no, I could look like a goblin. Oh wait, I could look like a dwarf. Wait, never mind. When we get when we get close enough, we're gonna let the the bears go. Um, actually, where where are we going? Which Dude, which direction are we hammers. going? We gotta go so get Brack, and then we gotta go this way. And she'll point going, on the map. Are we going to Brinchander where we got the quest, or are we going back no, to the other we're place? Going yeah, we're back, going to the back dwarves. to the dwarves. Fuck. Um. Fuck. Okay, so I told them that when we get to where we're going, we're going to feed them a lot. It's fine. Dwarves have plenty of food, and it, I'm pretty sure they're going to be happy to see that what we're doing. Okay. So, we will feed them. Okay, well, yeah. I, we'll I just, still want to let them free, but that's fine. Okay. We, we can. We'll just pause. What if we don't? What if we keep them? They're great. Uh, shut no. them up, please. No. Okay. Um, then I just need a little bit of navigating as we go, and uh, I'm ready when you are. I can know. That's what I'm here for. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Okay. We let's go now. Yeah, let's, uh, as you said, let, well, yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, stupid pair, get moving. You pull. Yeah, pull. Let's go. Thank, thank you. And can they the cart begins threat? to move. Can they, can they, can they smell threat? Um, I mean, actually, yeah. As long as he's close enough. I mean, as when I'm a, when I'm a bear, I can. I, everything's heightened, so I have to assume it's the same for them. But I, I don't know. Okay, we can't scare Thrak. Yeah, I, I don't. Um, now you care I, about Thrak. I cared about Thrak before. We have food. There again. There. I can. I can slow them down. I think we're gonna be okay. Um, I can. Oh God, I don't know if I want to ask him to smell for. A... No, just don't. This is why Leoric needs to get down before we get there and go to Thrak. We don't even need to take the bears up to to Thrak at all. Okay. And hey, if they smell Thrak and they're hungry, maybe Leor can run and we get there faster. Well, if you if you all could just look in every direction, help help me keep an eye out. I can't see ship. What time of day is it? Except you. It's really hard for you to tell, but if you ask uh, maybe Moonbrook, Nissa, or Ray, they would tell you it's actually probably the middle of the night. Ray. Day. What? Will a yeah, torch it's... scare the bears? Because fire? No, I mean, it shouldn't. They've, uh, they've been pulling Our this thing. Our wagon is like imagine. bright and on fire with and torches. Badass. I think we're good. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're, you're okay. Well, it wasn't lit when you went over there, so you can light it if you'd like. But Definitely. there would be, yeah, they have some, like, places to put torches down. Like the goblin side. stagecoach. Yeah. This is so sick. Sweet. <laughs> Definitely. So, cool. so, with Ray guiding the bears and Moonbrook guiding Ray, you begin to head out of this small valley area where the goblin encampment was back sort of onto the main part of the tundra to try and find Thrak Ray give me a perception check You see something moving in the distance. Hey, Moon, Moonbrook. You, you see that? It no, not not there. Over there. Look. Where? Where am I it's looking? Right there. You don't see it moving right there. Moonbrook, you can see something moving. Oh, it's I hard. see something moving. It's <laughs> hard to see. It's hard to tell. Like. Um, how far away stuff is out on the tundra because there's very few sort of like landmarks to kind of like help you judge distance and a lot of it's just white you know um it's hard to tell 
But something is moving around. It looks like something's moving very slowly. It's difficult to tell size or what have you, but you think it's something riding something out in the distance? That doesn't look right. Something's yeah. riding something. That looks like a... Is that a... Is that a person on the... What are you looking it's, at? I don't know. I don't... Maybe? What? I said... Um, I'm cool. gonna... What's happening? What are you looking at? I think I'm gonna tell tell or ask the bears very nicely. Uh, can you... Would you guys uh, slow down for just a minute? Yes, just a little. Thank you. Um... I can't... Smell something. Um, <laughs> smells... Like hairy one. Hairy um, one? Guys, it's... Yeah, yeah and I'll, I'll relay well, that. And then I'll, I'll go back to them and be like, Um, guys, when you say hairy one, do you mean like a really tall... Is it really, really big? Like, if you guys stood up, sort of big? Yeah. <laughs> Smells like hairy one. Big. Uh, I don't want to jump to any... Horns from mouth. Horns from... Oh, no. What's going on, Ray? There might be... How do we stop moving? I, I don't know exactly... But they're saying they smell something. It's big, big hairy ones, horns from mouths. Okay, that- everyone, get ready. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean, <laughs> horns? Well, well, hor- uh, horns. What horns? has horns in it? It's my favorite mouth. time I don't to pull know. up the arrow. <laughs> something that we already probably saw, like a Yeti, maybe? I don't think they have horns in their mouths. I mean. Do their ears know what they smell like? Have they seen them before? Can they describe them? They. Yeah, they've described them to the extent that they can. They're Would I the know hairy. what this is just from? You can make a nature check for me, uh, Nissa. Oh boy. <laughs> You're not really sure from the description. It's confusing. There's there's some pretty scary stuff that's out on the tundra. So I don't know if you can narrow it down. Well, whatever it is, we should be ready. Okay, that's I, I I agree, but um okay. I'll we'll go at a nice slow pace and just everybody be on your guard, okay? Maybe we can go around them if we try. Well, is this the direction that Thrak was in? Moonbrook? You can make a survival check for me. You have advantage. Uh so it would just be a normal check then? Yes. Yep. Yep, as in the yep. direction of where Thrak is? Is that yes. what? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just sort of yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, no, this is great. This is We're heading in the right direction as far as I can remember. Okay, so we'll go slow. Not, not, not crazy slow, but we'll go slow and keep our eyes out. And we'll just... Pay attention to that thing, okay? I mean, it could right. be threat. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, we can let's start going again. Uh, but oh, uh, take take it a little easy as you as you don't don't strain yourselves. Uh, hurry the fuck up! Does not go near hairy one. Oh no. Uh so um, my friend. Well, well, why are we moving? What's... My friend doesn't like to go near the the hairy ones. If friend, if friend the bears, I don't want to go near to the, to the hairy one. Yeah. These polar bears don't want to. Fifteen well. foot bears, if they stand up on their hind legs, won't go oh, nowhere near this. Well, you know, they the they should avoid it as it. well. Yeah, they should not, not, not go you near. Know. If Thrak is little. over there, they might have already eaten Thrak. Chebby doesn't want to die, and Chebby loves Thrak, but Chebby loves Frog more. And frog's Ray. more important, so... Ray and mm. Moonbrook, uh, make another perception check. Uh, Terriel can, too. Okay. Um, but keep in mind your fatigue. Yeah. 
Good lord, this is stupid for D. Wow. I don't want to get in a fight with this. Perception. But our carts over there and stuff like that. No, I mean, I know we've got a really cool Whoa. cart now, but. Look at that. Terriel. Hi. Mm. Focusing intently on what this is, maybe with some direction from Ray. You realize it almost looks like a person is riding a large carpet or something? I... The don't person doesn't really look like a person too much, though. It's got... Like a... It almost looks like a dwarf riding a carpet. But then maybe you realize there's some kind of recognition as to the fact that that's definitely not a dwarf and that's definitely not a carpet. This thing has some kind of large nose that's coming down and two large oh, no. horns coming from its mouth. And the thing that's riding it looks like a person with armor and stuff on it. It has a large, like, helmet on it with horns. Oh, oh no. Its skin is sort of grayish blue. Uh, and oh, it has dear. what looks like some kind of... You, you, you look at the armor for a second, and then you're like, that's not scale armor those are actually shields making up each of the scales um <laughs> oh, no. uh, yeah so we either need to leave immediately and go around or you want to fight something as large as what did they call it in the in the books um it looks like a giant elephant almost but it's really yes it's huge and i'm saying really big and it has full armor and the th whatever's riding it does not look like they're coming for a business uh, agreement or, okay. or 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 looking to help us we okay, need to okay. leave okay. yes let's go yes. the other okay, way fine. okay we um, need to no, leave let's, sorry let's directly, i love you but um, okay. I, I, I would say kill the lights uh, immediately. Kill the, okay. Um, they start snuffing the torches. I'm going to. Right. Go. We need to run. We need to run now. Yeah, that that's fine. I'm just a little concerned about our uh, polar bear friend. Do polar um, bears uh, have? Polar bears won't we be go around. now. Thing we yeah, go yeah, now. Yeah. yeah, we're turning around. Turning around. Turn around. Here we go. Here we oh, go. Around. We need we're to go gonna around. Go we're this way. No, no, no. We're gonna turn and then Moonbrook. I need. Uh, can you like re? route where, where we're going because i can't yeah no but we, we can need try to go and come back now. another time uh, i'm going we have yeah, to let's go. Go. I'm going, let's I'm going, go i'm going i'm going i'm going chappy hold on tight uh nissa nissa hop in that all way. right if they can if they can hold me and i i You're just fine. kind of like climb fine. The hop in <laughs> um and then i'm gonna say hey, guys let's go let's go wait 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 when you're doing great i saw this here he's watching don't worry and he pat you on the shoulder you get guidance you begin to Make the bears start to turn around. They're already sort of struggling a bit with the cart and, you, you know, the, the reins. And they're sort of trying to turn, like, in opposite directions. Like, they're you, you try to get them back on course. Go ahead and give me an oh, animal handling check, please, Ray. You have guidance, but you also are fatigued. Or uh, exhausted, rather. Ooh, uh, what's the guidance <laughs> bonus? And the guidance is, was it, uh... Doesn't matter. Eight. Okay. Mm. Maybe Leoric should have drove. <laughs> Am I right? Leoric's great with animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna get away, it's okay. Leoric, why don't you help Ray? <laughs> I need a bear. are you kidding me? I'm not gonna oh. do that. Well, eat me. No, okay. that way. Together, come on. No, that way. You got to turn them a little bit more. I'm this trying. way. Ryan, come on. It come is on. difficult to sort of get them to go the way that you want. Uh, this way. This way, stupid bear. Hurry the fuck up. This way. 
and they start to uh, sort of pull like in opposite directions trying to get the cart is sort of meandering all over the place and you're not really choosing a direction Perfect. but the ground Perfect. is starting to shake with the movement as oh, no. oh, God. coming oh. closer um. and closer you Drying hear. It. Okay, 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 okay. Um, give me, give me, give me some food. Give me some food, quick, 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 quick. Here, here. I passed I'm going. Some rations. Shit. I'm going to hop out and put it in my mouth, or, or, or go and say this way, this way. I got food, and then I'm gonna put it in my mouth and turn into a bear and start like beckoning them and start moving as uh, trying to get their attention with the food. Anyone Nuzzling looking it into behind? Them. This is what you see. Oh dear God! On the back. <laughs> oh, I knew it! I knew it was freaking frog! I did not. On the back of the yeah, this is I, mammoth. This is the actual worst. <laughs> you I think it'll be see fine. riding no. on the back of a mammoth, which looks. Let's. You know what? Let's give you the full picture. Oh this my God! This is what dude. you see. Oh. God. Oh, oh my yes. God, dude. It's the worst that. thing we could ever run into. Like, I love that's it. amazing. Coming up <laughs> behind the cart, Ray has jumped down to try and help pull. Ray, I need an athletics check from you in bear form. And I think we need something else to help complete the image. <laughs> an initiative. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Teriel immediately casts the. Oh no, he doesn't. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Never mind. <laughs> we could trade He's a small frightened. thrak for a larger thrak, or right? if we if we get to take care of this frost giant, right? Bro, what a trade that'll be. You know, just, just, before <laughs> <I'll do this laughs> just, just before I do this properly, if I'm doing athletics as an animal, it's not with disadvantage. Is that correct? That is not correct. Damn it! I thought the I thought exhaustion stayed with the animal form, and doesn't transform over. Transfer over. No. Damn it! All right. Well, disadvantage and athletics. Oh. <laughs> yes. With Ray's help, the bears start to pull away. You hear behind, which is probably maybe like a hundred feet or so behind you at this point, the frost giants start to bellow. Yeah! You do not run from Yachnar! Ray, get the hell out of here! We definitely do run! Keep going! Step on me! And that is where we're going to end the session no. today. Oh, oh God, no. No, I was prepping. Oh All right, my fine. God. Oh, my God. boy. Bro, Frost I'm Giant, out of character. Frost Giants are literally the worst giants you could ever <laughs> run into. Oh, like ever so and way. ever. How cold. And it has a mammoth. Oh, my and God. And we're level four. Giant, so we're, are we? welcome to hard mode. <laughs> <We're> level... <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I would like to point out that I rolled for stuff at the end of last session yes, secretly. I knew it. I knew it. I saw your look at the end of last session. Oh my God. We had our talk, <laughs> and I said, I knew this shit was going to I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew it was going to The episode was going too well. <laughs> too well. It's going to get... It's going to get issues. Yeah, it's going to get... I told get the bad. players I rolled for something at the end of last session. <laughs> this was oh it. Oh, my God. Frost Bro, the I'm worst. excited. And we're all exhausted, most of us. Yeah. And double not, exhausted. Not only that, two exhaust. Yeah, two Everything levels. is screwed. Level two. Yeah. We have to run. Oh, God. It's all right. We'll be fine. Also, I'd like to point out, depending on how close this thing is, don't touch we, are, me. we are in really bad range. Oh, God. Wait, wait, it's coming up behind us? It doesn't have surprise on us because we know, I noticed it, right? You, yes. You'll see what happens next time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I need to, to make a note out. of what I was going to do before. Yeah, I'm going to start filling out a new character sheet. <laughs> oh no. Really liking the idea of an artificer, so. 
So nice. <laughs> so does anybody here actually know about Frost Giants? I'm not going to meta and tell you, but do anybody no. know about Frost Giants? No, yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yes. I mean, I fought I, against I do, them in yeah. a different campaign, but... Like, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> We're mm-hmm. This totally. is almost like a boss. To, this is an in-game boss to us right now with our mm-hmm. level, like in our exhaustion. Yeah. This is. I'm excited. We did so well with the bird fight. We'll be fine. Listen, it's I just a bigger bird. It's not only the giant. I didn't we... do this. Okay, the dice. Did. It's the dice. Uh-huh. We can get away. I believe in the bears. We might have to lighten the load. That's all. Yeah. We're this is what I'm imagining. Of you off. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Thrak is gonna come out of nowhere and sacrifice. His little oh, birdie no. body. For oh, God. Well, get stepped on him. by the mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is a spell. There is a spell that I was going to queue up, and I don't f- say. I f- I'm not going to, but I fucking hate myself so much because I was like, Nah, I don't that. need it. Not yeah, I had a couple of those too that I was going to. We have a slim chance not to get secured. Yeah, I mean, just Maybe spend spend the entire speed. combat. Casting yeah, a ritual. Be fine, Dude, I I'm just sure. want to say we're exhausted times two, and I used so many spell slots. I am not doing useless. great. <laughs> we're hurt. We are not feeling great. <laughs> I was gonna say that Terry was slept, but then he wouldn't have noticed, and we probably if we got like surprised, it would have been really, really bad. Uh hey. Don't worry. Azuth's with us. We got this. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, is the hungry ass. <laughs> uh-huh. That's me. Uh, we got well, this. Right. Just make sure I don't play, die. Players, have a character ready. players, do me a favor. Yeah. Don't look at chat for the rest oh. of the session here okay. while we're doing the closing, because I'm gonna oh. type something in for chat alone. Okay, okay so make okay. sure you're not looking at chat. Shit. Chat, I'm I gonna know. give you a little Full secret screen. here. I'm gonna give you a little <laughs> secret. Oh, gross. Wow, I, now I'm so curious. Hate this. <laughs> yeah. I closed the chat. It makes me feel like when he did the one collapse. time, he's like, "You can't watch." I'm like, "God, yeah, right, damn it. collapse, collapse." Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the one time you want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes All sense. I see is our beautiful. Yeah, how so, beautiful uh, today? If chat could talk a little bit and spam in the chat up so that the players <laughs> right. can't Clear see that. or just Clear react chat. to what I have typed in there. Um. Yeah. Mother Fluff and In the arms giant. of the age. <laughs> We're Not dead. only a frost giant, a freaking rider. Oh I just want to say God. that photo of him with like, is that an animal? Is that a fucking bear in a bag on looks his like side? A, looks like a saber like, tooth. Yes, that yeah, is oh a freaking God. bear. He's just yeah. carrying some meats yeah. in his bag. It's like a kitten. <laughs> if only I had calm emotions prepared. Oh my god, is he using a, a mast? Is that like a boat that mast? Is a mast. As he's... Oh, yep. oh my god. god. Yep. You're so screwed. <laughs> yep. And uh, I like have to point to... out how intelligent frost giants are. They're very smart. Like, we... very smart. Not smarter than me. Uh, okay. <laughs> we might have two okay, polar bears like, right. as long as they don't cut <laughs> and run. Oh, screwed. Two so... polar bears, bro. He's going to baggage them up and make a damn I... Amazon gift. I'm just saying we might have two polar bears. <laughs> I'll be there in two days. I'm not saying what will happen. I'm just saying we might have two polar bears. <laughs> Sound like the they said they're going to get out of there. <laughs> so, really I got CC. We cool. We're good. good All session, I can do is pray everybody. that Banner Hammer like, clan comes and they're like, oh. <laughs> the only thing hindering me is I used a spell today. That's it. We're good. I still have 15 hit points. No, we don't. Also, we're buffed because I did aid within eight hours ago. So yeah. we're all good. Yeah. That's oh, what um, does that go under temporary hit points? Is that it's, where you oh, you know, max, your max. Your max and your current yeah. go up by five. Oh. 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 It really sucks. Oh. Okay. Is that Ray and all of us forgot it's to contact the bird? It's not permanent. It's just for eight hours, but yeah. Sweet. You know what I'd suggest is don't change your max. Just change your current and put it up by five. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was already there because I forgot to change it back, I believe. No, no. You were prepared. I did level, so I, I don't know how much. It's going to be five more than your max. I have to look real quick. Let me see. Uh, me. Good session, everybody. Good session. I think we saw a lot of stuff oh, yeah, happen this session. Uh, a lot of depth. And we had uh, some funny moments. We had some sad moments. We had some terrifying moments. <laughs> and uh, yeah. just a great job all around. So... Let's go around the room. Let's do our shout outs and things. Uh, if you haven't done so, please make sure you're following all of these wonderful people by heading on over to tablestory.tv slash rhyme, R-I-M-E, to go follow them in all the places. And if you have yourself a Prime Gaming sub that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Get yourself some emotes. Support these wonderful people. They're great people, great role players, uh, and they've been doing a, a fantastic job. 
uh, with a Is chat safe. Uh, I think it's safe now. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna go scroll up. <laughs> so stupid. Still being influenced. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, it's it's uh, it's just a really really uh, good session. Good job. Oh. So let's goodness. um, let's uh, let's go around the room. Let's do some shout outs and whatnot. Uh, why don't we start with Tess? <laughs> um, you guys, I as always, I'm just. I just I'm I feel so lucky to be here with these incredible people and and I just they're all amazing. Please go follow them. Whack. I have no words <laughs> for how amazingly you make us feel like we're in this crazy place and it's just wonderful. And yeah, so I stream on my channel every Saturday, usually in the evenings, and then I do lots of Borderlands things on the Borderlands channel and that's me. Thank you. Seriously, just thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tess. Make sure you're all following Tess, please. Uh, she's a wonderful human. Go follow her in all the places. Thank you so much, Tess. Uh, Wish, why don't you go next? Hello, it's me, your girl Wish, and I am a streamer on Twitch, just for the rest of these people. And I do things and stuff on my channel. I usually stream on Thursdays. Uh, this week, I actually streamed on Tuesday, though. We had a double session of Evil Geniuses and something else I played. Oh yeah, It Takes Two, which I'm running as a series with my husband. That has been a mess. Uh, we're not divorced yet, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys tune in. We'll, we plan on doing that some more. Um, we just have to get our schedules together. But um, in addition to that, I do, uh, I am trying to stream more. I just been really busy. So make sure you check out all these other fabulous folks if I'm not live, which is probably likely because I'm working behind the scenes at Twitch doing things. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you so Twitch much. Twitch.tv for slash wish. Please go follow wish. Twitch.tv slash wish. Thank you. Proxy. Hello, I am Proxy. I play Chappy and half a frog, and Whack plays the other half of frog. <laughs> I'm a leather crafter here on Twitch. I, I love that ribbit, by the way. It's great. <laughs> I'm a leather crafter here on Twitch. Uh, I've had a crazy busy week. If you are watching the streams, I have been preparing for an application to a local farmer's market, and applications in. I found out on Monday if I get accepted or not. I'm so nervous. Pray for me. Get the blesses in chat. Um, but yeah, I get to spend my Fridays with these fun people playing d and I fucking love this game. d and is the best. Literally, I could play this for the rest of my life, and I probably will until I'm like a 90-year-old little lady. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a ton of fun this episode. I know I did. There's a bunch of new fan art and stuff in there. We love seeing your comments on YouTube and in the Discord. And if you listen or are listening currently to the podcast version, really appreciate you listening to that as well. So yeah, thanks guys. Thank you so much, Prox. Myth. Hey everyone, it's me, Myth or Cord. Hi, uh, I'm gonna... Actually, this one's going to be just for the podcast listeners. Hey, it's me, Cord. I'm, uh, or Mythomatic. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Mythomatic, uh, where I do cinematic roleplay content. Uh, I do produce other TTRPGs across the internet as well. I am currently producing the uh, looking, I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> let's get wild mount uh, over on Critical Bard's channel. And that's been super awesome. And I've been having a lot of fun with that. Uh, check me out on the Twitters as well. Let's see what I'm up to and when I'm doing it. Thanks for being here today. I'm very excited for a mammoth and uh, and frost giant fight. Uh, though um, we may die, but it'll be great. It'll be really great. It's all about the experience, right? And that's it. Okay, and that's enough for you, podcast listeners. Back to you. I wish I could. I wish I could bring over the gif that Vixie made of your baby Bjorn uh, animation <laughs> to put up when you black screen <laughs> yourself because uh, really it's so freaking good if you look in the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden channel on our public discord you can see it it's really been killing me uh, <laughs> thank you so much Myth uh, everybody make sure you go follow Myth please thank you buddy uh, Aaron Hi, uh, my name is Aaron Black, and I am an author currently working on the second book in a uh, cyberpunk uh, detective mystery series. And uh, 
that's it. That's all I got. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, Aaron B. Writes. But other than that, um, I love you. Thank you, Aaron. I love you too. We Thank love you, you too. Um, everybody, please make sure you follow Aaron so you can uh, ask him his favorite question. When is the next book coming out? Um, that's always an author's favorite question. When mm-hmm. is it coming out? Uh, they don't think about it ever. So when people ask, <laughs> it's super it helps. helpful. Oh, so helpful. (laughs) Thank you so much, Aaron. Uh, Tech. Hey, I'm uh, Technique. That's Technique with the U and the E. No no U and E, excuse me, at the end, and just a Q. Um, This this week has been very, very uh, busy, and I am finally happy to have a weekend. Uh, Play Terriel for those that are listening, and uh, thank you for listening, and thanks for being a part of it. Um... It was a lot of fun today on a session. It was it was a lot of stuff going on. The session f- didn't feel long at all. Like I thought, like by now I'd be like feeling for a break, but not the end. But uh, yeah, frost giants, fun. Know all about them. Very scared and um, prepped for a new character already. So we will see <laughs> next week if we survive and if we do. Holy shit! Very excited. Um, we'll hope we get two levels. So yeah, uh, whack. <laughs> no. Dude, you, I'm a man of voices. You, you, you always impress me every single damn time. Love the bear voices. Uh, the name was hilarious. Harry I tried to f- hold it hurry in. Hurry the fuck up. I would, Bro, I would like so to great. shout out uh, a really good book series. If anybody reads Discworld, uh, there's a book in the Discworld series where the, the narrative sort of uh, talks about camels uh, I'm blanking on the name of the book right now. Uh, it's one of the middle ones. Uh, there's a lot of middle ones. Um, it, it's a big series. Yeah, it, it's a... Uh, the, the camels all have names based on the person that's riding, calling them, you know, <laughs> horrible things. So I was like, that's what the goblins would call them. It just made sense to me. Pyramids. That's the name of the book. Yeah, good shit. Oh, that was great. I loved it. It was. But anyway, happy to be here. And uh, yeah, you find me on twitch.tv slash technique. No, you know E. And Twitter is the most important one because I do a lot of stuff. Uh, Post gigs. Uh, there's some acting stuff that's coming up. Acting classes come back in session. Uh, voice acting on this side of things for video games is coming in. And uh, yeah, you might hear me in a video game that I can't tell you about until after it's out. So anyway, there's that. And that's Technique TV. No, you know E, just put a TV at the end because somebody keeps posting and not let me have the name. That's it. What an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, I'm Wax no Steven. I have been your DM of Doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Chat, thank you so much for the love and the support. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Uh, make sure you're following us here on uh, on Table Story. Uh, Table Story on Twitter on Twitch, uh, at a table story on Twitter and table story on YouTube as well. If you want to watch us there, uh, people, you know, sometimes find it easier to watch the VODs there. If you watch it on Twitch, you get the, uh, the chat commentary at the same time. You get to see their reaction to what I typed to them. Um, which is good. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I, uh, am mostly here on this channel doing uh doing things uh i have a show called witchcraft and wizardry that is set in the harry potter uh universe but she who shall not be named doesn't get anything from it so we get to enjoy the show and uh support trans people because the everybody should be treated equally um especially uh you know people that are already having an incredibly difficult time just getting by day to day um and um yeah, you don't have to worry about that by watching our show. Um, uh, I'm also here on this show, and I do stuff on my channel sometimes. Uh, every week, I have been doing a Wax Steven Designs a TTRPG. If you want to see what goes on in the creative process of creating a TTRPG, uh, I probably don't do it like any game designer. I think that's a safe bet. Uh, because my brain is all over the place, and, uh, I come from an artist background, so... Eh, 
uh, it's not the same. Um, but if you want to uh, check it out, uh, I think it's been going really well. I, I'm I'm excited to do each one of those streams. I'm really enjoying them. They're a lot of fun, and uh, I'm just I'm just you know so interested in the in the process, and um, it's been it's been a good time. So come check it out. Uh, on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. there. Uh, I did a double session this week, uh, and the collections are up on my on my Twitch, so go check it out. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you uh, tomorrow. We have Cerebrum Project has ended, but the cast is doing a roundtable tomorrow, uh, chatting, chatting about stuff. You'll probably get some uh, behind-the-scenes info and whatnot, so come check that out. That's 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. I'm thinking Bye. tiefling artificer. <laughs>